First off, we're going to start off by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rechab Kadash. The Muhammad is unto the apostles, and that was a great little song. Much love to the brothers out there doing the work and truth in the city, man. And also, peace and blessings to the believers out there. Love the whole few Like, what's the name of the Israelites? Back out here on the highways and byways, man, the proud side, the word of this Holy Bible, and the preach repentance unto the elect of our people, man. Now, as of lately, if you brothers and sisters have been paying attention to the news, man, things are getting hot, baby, right? Okay? It's beautiful because everything is planned out according to what the Bible says, man. Right. You have the whole world confused, perplexed, in the uproar. People don't know what the hell going on. Blame everything on Vladimir Putin like he, you know, right. uh, 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 you know, a hill or somebody. Right. This is all planned out by the elites, man. Right. Everything you see going on, okay, the global food crisis, high gas prices, everything happening according to prophecy, man. But see, these elites, they're doing it in hopes to usher in their global reset, man. Uh, and which, according to the Holy Scriptures, they don't get a chance to taste it. You know, to get a chance to put that MOTB in people and to, you know, get all the resources of the earth, man, to have control over people and dominance, only for a little while. Right. But he gonna do it, though. And we see everything play out according to the scriptures, man. All right? We love that the gas prices are up. We love that global food shortages are happening, man. Why? Because it's prophecy, man. Right. And we get excited because those are the steps to us getting to the house, man. These are the steps to salvation, brothers and sisters. It's gonna be hard, very hard, man. All of us gonna be trying individually. But according to Yahweh Shah, he gonna save us from that hour of temptation, man. From those trying times, that's coming down the pipe, you know? Yeah, hey, brother. I read that happy two star that first one, right? And make it plain upon table that he may run that readeth it. Right. And we have the visions in these scriptures, man. And we're making it plain upon the table by, by breaking it down to you, brothers and sisters, out there to give you the understanding, man, of what these scriptures are talking about. Because a lot of people don't know what the hell is going on, man. The thing that we talk about out here on the highways and the byways, the Christian church don't talk about it, man. Especially the so called black Christian church. Right. All they do is do this all day. Fucking clapping and stomping, man. <laughs> Ain't talking right. about nothing, man. Right. Look, bro, we came out of there. Right. We, we, we ain't talking about nothing, man. Right. So these prophecies, brothers and sisters, we are making them plain because we have the Holy Spirit, man. Right. And we see what's going on because of, yeah, because of the Spirit of Yahweh shot, man. Go ahead, brother. It says verse 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, all these prophecies... Ever since the beginning of the time, had their appointed time, man. All of them, all right? And there are a few prophecies left, brothers and sisters, that are set for an appointed time, man. Damn it. That is set for an appointed time. Right. We see that it's a global food crisis right now, right? right? I need to hear you Global. A global, right? Yes, man. Just as it said in the second answer. Hold it on deck, brother. I'm about to hit you more, brother. Go ahead. I'm going to talk about you about first three. Habakkuk 2 verse 3 right. For the vision is yet for an appointed time uh -huh. But at the end it shall speak right. At the end it shall speak Okay We are in the end man The end of the end days Okay Because the end started when Yahweh Shah was born That's when the last day started man Right So in the end these prophecies are speaking How they're speaking Through what's going on in the world man Y'all see the news Okay we're not over this You know just talking about how You know Of a very black you see the prophecies, man. You see the news. Right. People are going crazy, man. Right. Go ahead, Doc. I mean, maybe they think too simple to recognize the last prophecy. <laughs> so the shit sure. that you see on the news that's worrying you and disturbing you right. and hurting your nerves, that's prophecies in your face, man. Mm -hmm. right. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, and see, as I said earlier, your pastor's not going to tell you that. Right. Right. Uh, he going to say, you know, just pray in Jesus' name and sing yeah. the types. Right. And there is Sunday morning the old right. all great glory and power. Same old shit. This is look, man. You Christians are lost. Right. Okay. That's right. 
what's written in these holy scriptures is coming to pass, man. But y'all say the Old Testament done away with. This, this is why you ain't looking to the Old Testament. Go ahead, I. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And not lie. These scriptures don't lie, man. This is the truth, okay? There are no other documents on the planet Earth that is more truthful than the Holy Bible, man. Right. Go to the walls of Egypt and look at all them emojis, okay? They ain't talking about nothing, man. Right. There are no prophecies in Egypt. There are no prophecies in Islam, in Buddhism, in right. Hinduism, right. in Darwinism. Right. There are no prophecies in there, man. They're right here in the Holy Scriptures, okay? And all of them are true. And right. where it comes to pass, man. Go ahead, I. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, right? Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right, though it tarry, wait for it, okay? And the apostles, all right, and the elders all down, man, have been prophesying for years about a global family, about the MOTV, about all hell breaking loose, man, cannibalism, things getting serious in these streets, man, for years. Right. And other people have been mocking the sky. Other Israelites have been mocking the scotch, making parody videos. It's June, ain't no micro chip. Right, right, right. Now they nigga somewhere scooping up in the bed, can't move. Right. Because of that wickedness, man. Everything the apostle been saying since they got on YouTube is coming to pass, man. And it's beautiful, okay? And we know that those men are true. Right. And not that they're true, is that the Lord chose those men. Right. To give them that word, and they gave it unto us, man. And I'm giving it unto y'all, brothers and sisters, okay? Right. right. Hey, I. Like I say, just real quick, it's not coming true because they said it. It's coming true because that's the proof that the Most High is dealing with those particular men. Because he didn't get that truth to none of these other camps, man. Everything that the apostles said is coming true because the Most High is, has, has spoken through them. So that's his word being spoken through his prophets. That's all coming true, man. They're not making it up. They ain't just winging it. Right. That shows you that the Most High is dealing with them and not these other camps. But see y'all all these all these way with doctrines that you can't substantiate none of that nonsense with the scriptures. But the, the, the elder apostles on down, everything that's been said can be substantiated with scripture, man. Y'all can't do that. That lets you know that those men were set up by the heavenly father himself through y'all shot and deals uh, directly with them, man. Right, yeah, and, uh, and uh, you know, I slack y'all on uh, Nate. I said, brother said that uh, he's making good health. You know, that's a good thing. Oh. But you still got to teach the right thing, man. Right, right. You, you, you can't just be out there, bro, that's winging the scriptures, man. You know the apostles are saying the truth. But since you have a personal hate toward these men, Woo. you teach otherwise, you know? Or maybe you just don't understand, you know? But the understanding is out there, bro. The MOTV is upon us, brothers and sisters. That executive order that Biden signed on Wednesday, that's an introduction to the MOTV. Yes, sir. The Federal Reserve going to a digital dollar, okay? That green dollar in your pocket got Federal Reserve on it. That's going to disappear, man. That petrol dollar going to disappear, and you're going to be presented with the MOTV. Right. They said, we're going to do a study on it for six months, and they rolled it out. <laughs> they already got it, man. Right. They just sit, you know, they sit back, let everything else play out. And then, once you Americans get desperate, because you can't pay your gas bill, light bill, you can't pay your gas in your car, you can't go buy no gallon of milk, no food, no bread. You're going to say, look, look. Look, government, please help me out. Right. He's gonna say, look, nigga, I got something for you right here. Boom. And you're gonna take it, man. Shit. Fight for it. Yeah, hey. You have spoke on uh, the, the famine. All right, this food crisis. The gas prices are gonna affect what directly? Truckers. That's right. That's how we get all our shit, man. All right? Yeah. You don't see no train pushing up at the back of no grocery store. Truckers. Okay? So if the gas prices up, uh, what you, how much? Look at the diesel prices, man. Right. Yeah. All right, I got family in trucking. They paying six or seven dollars a gallon uh, 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 for uh, for gas, man, for diesel. Now they drive across country. They using the bed. They using a lot of fucking gas, man. All right, that's in but the but they wages not getting lifted up, man. So you are gonna have more and more truckers either they going going on strike. All right, to demand higher wages, or they not gonna even be able to fucking keep uh, stress for it, man, because they can't afford it. Especially the independent truckers, man. They got their own shit, and they gotta pay multiple people on top of pay for gas and all these other things, man. All right, it's gonna hit on a whole nother scale very soon. The more and more this 
devil uh play around with these uh 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 limited and cutting off oil, man. Right. You know what it's all done by design, man. Right. And let me say this real quick, I the book you have to say six months, the prophet says six months. You know why he says six months? Right. That's how long the oil the oil reserves in the United States will last, bro. And we ain't got nobody to buy no oil from, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them, them, them mother Peter might say that they in league with Russia, bro. Ain't nobody let buy by no oil, bro. So we from the type of child reserve is six months, bro. Okay? Right? That oil, for each barrel of oil, only 20 gallons of gas come out of each barrel. The rest of that shit go to manufacturing plastics and stuff and all the other cool shit, bro. Shit not gonna last, bro. Six months, man. Listen, man. Six months, man. It's all about fucking design, man. Yeah, that's fucking Pepper would know that as he threw them embargoes on Russia, that all this shit was gonna go down, man. Right? You know, against the West. You guys knew that shit, man. Right. You niggas are fucking sitting ducks, man. Wait for this goddamn crap to save you, man. You know ain't gonna save you, man. I'm telling you, man. Somebody can go right. Yeah, Biden, Joe Biden was told to do what he did, man. Right. Don't think he just up there just making decisions on his own and saying all these things like he's just so against Russia. No, Russia controlled by the elites. America controlled by the elites, right? They all been told what to do. Right. These elites want that global a uh, reset, man. All right, the are uh, UN general Antonio Guterres, man. <laughs> he tweeted this in January 21st, all right, of 2022. Okay, just show the uh, elder brother. He said, Today I urge all UN member countries, which is 193 countries, right, to go into emergency mode around five actual areas, fighting the Coca Cola 19, transforming the global financial system. Mm. Why? Because the Financial system we have right now is not suitable for that digital one, man. Right. This petrol dollar got to get up out of here, man. This is a debt-based system. Right. But this new system gonna be all good, so call for everybody, man. This is what the UN general is telling all his all these country members, man. You need to be prepared for this global reset. It says tackling the climate crisis, and it says putting people at the center of the digital world. Why? Because we want to give the MOTV, man. That's why you need to be able to send over this, It's all being set up, man, by the CBDC, bro. Right. Just do your research, man. Or just, you know what? Just listen to us, man. They're going to do your research. Okay? Esau ain't bullshitting around, bro. He get ready to usher this thing in, man. Right. And they're going to catch a lot of people by surprise. Right. Why? Because they don't know prophecy, man. Or either they don't understand geopolitics, you know, on an earthly level. But even if a brother don't understand geopolitics on a you know on a good you know a good level, watch the other brothers in Dallas, man. Right. They always go into it, man. But we have the prophecies which are sure and we understand those, man. Right. So I'll uh, get that second answer, brother. That quick one. Go ahead. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there's no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So our people, those Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of our people, all right, they're going to perish. Why? Because they don't understand, neither do they believe on the prophecies, the prophecies of Yahweh Shimei Washah. This is our only way of salvation and deliverance and protection. But our people are going to trust into, they're going to trust in the so-called white man, these Edomites, and that's going to be their destruction, man. All All right? Yeah, man. Through the spirit, all right, through policy, we've been telling this so-called white man what he gonna do. <laughs> that's power, man. Right. And not that we're powerful, it's the word that's powerful, man. The word is true, okay? Everything you have about your outside saying, brothers and sisters, is coming to pass, man. And these elites, they know what we're saying is true, man. Right. And they hot right now. I hot as hell. Right. Tell me right. what right. Okay. It's the most high doing it, man. Right. And you're frustrated, as it says in the scriptures. You're troubled in your councils, man. You're constantly having all these meetings, trying to get things together, man. Because we are exposing you through the spirit, man. And also other Edomites, okay? I like to watch Glenn Beck. That devil be exposing Esau, man. Telling all his plans, you know? So get that second entry, brother. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. My favorite chapter right here. That's where we at. Yeah, that's where we at. The second answer is 15. And what? Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Right. That's what we are commanded, brothers and sisters. It is speak unto you prophecy. Not just speak, but break it down unto you, man. 
because a lot of people don't understand these prophecies, man. A lot of Israelite camps don't understand them, bro. Most of them don't talk about prophecy, man. Just fringes, you brother, right. this, this, no, right. man. Break these scriptures down to Jake so Jake can know. Okay, the Lord said, give them warning from me. Right. Okay? So we're here to warn you through prophecy, brother and sister, that you get your lives together, man. We're entering into the belly of the beast, man. Right. Jacob's trouble. This is what's coming down the pipe, man. Go ahead, huh? Verse 2. It caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Once again, these words are true, brothers and sisters. They're faithful, man. As Peter said, we have a sure word of prophecy, man. Right. Everything the Most High God has said is going to come to pass, man. Go ahead, I. You know what, brother? Real fast, get Isaiah fourteen and verse twenty-four. Real fast, I. Everything you how about you know what I said is going to come to pass, man. Go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah fourteen, verse twenty-four. And Yahweh of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have I have thought, so shall it come to right, pass. Right. And so I have purpose, so shall it stand. Right. As the most high thought is gonna come to pass, That's man. Right. As he purpose is gonna stand. Right. And nothing to move it, man. There's nothing gonna change what written in prophecy, man. So right. Christian think he can pray prophecy away. Exactly. In his mind, he really believed that he can change. What's written, man? Really good, huh? Right. No, there's a great judgment that's coming to America. That's man. right. This is the worst kingdom known to mankind. Right. right. All of the bloodshed, man. Right. But see, really, brothers and sisters, this happening for the controversy of Zion. Right. As right. it says in prophecy, man, the Lord said, I'm going to plead with these devils for my people, man. Woo. And when he pleads, he don't, look, he, he's not coming to talk yeah. to you, all right, uh, via Skype. Right. All right, <laughs> he coming to talk to you directly through judgment, man. Right. right. It said it said that the most high is known by the judgment which he executed, man. Right, right. Everybody gonna feel the thunder. Okay, go ahead, your priest. Up, uh, real quick, this is uh Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right. No one of these shall fail. Right. So going into prophecy and, and, the, and the brothers breaking it down uh beautifully. Okay, because they are faithful and true. It says, none of these shall fail. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Right. The most high man, he commanded. Okay. Everything he said, brother and sister, is coming to pass, man. All right, the slave ships happened. We had the bottom that happened. Right. We lost our heritage. That happened. Right. All that's written, man. Right. So what make you think everything else is gonna come to pass, man? Yeah, I wish I come in, man. Right. Right. I look forward to them, my Lord and Savior. Right. 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 All of us do. Right. Right. Cause we know it's real. Right. You unbelievers out there, you shook up in the mouth. You like, man, how? Why, why do they believe in this book? Right. Man, look, for the most I gotta believe in, man. That's right. why. Right. All right, go ahead, brother. A lot of people believe that New Testament God is different from the oh, Old so Testament right, God. Yeah, just, uh, oh, uh, it's the same, same Yahweh, same Yahweh shot, right. same Yahweh that flooded the earth and only saved a soul. Right, right. That's a big fucking deal. Right. But yeah, through Plantation yeah. Christianity, our people have been rocked to sleep. Right. Have been soothed over with smooth words. But the Most High is about to show His wrath on this planet Earth, man. Right. Yeah, hey, that's crazy, man. You got them late cases, man. Talking about uh, uh, that you got the the, uh, the ones that came from one west following God's law, not Jesus' law. Man, what do you think uh, Yahweh Shah was keeping, man? All right. What was he keeping, man? He was keeping the most his father's laws, man. How many times did he say he came to do the will of his father? Man? Right, right. Show you that Christianity is that it's nut cases, man. Right. Okay. That feels good. Right. right, giving you something to make you feel good, right. to comfort you through your wickedness, man. Right. right. Yep. And so when Yahweh exactly. came on the scene, he read Matthew 5, you know, 6 and 7. He read it like he's talking about something different. No, he just came to enhance it on a spiritual level, man. Because right. he talked about adultery, right? He said, look, adultery really starts in the mind. Right. Okay, I'm afraid you go do it physically in the flesh, man. He said, look, if you already the convince yourself of doing it, you already get to it, man. Because yeah. you acted more than that thought. Right. Okay? That's all that he did about the spiritual aspect of the law. He was talking over those scribes and Pharisees' head because they were so caught up on the carnal aspect of it, man. Right. Instead of the way of matters of what it was truly seen. Right. They were omitting mercy, right, grace, all right, right, faith, man. That they're strictly about the flesh and not all about that, man. And you have guys today in that same spirit, that same mentality. 
Go ahead, brother. In Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse three. Uh huh. Fear not. Fear not the imaginations of against thee. Right. The law said, "Don't fear the imagination of history, brothers and sisters." Right. People think all kind of things about us, man. Right. But it don't move those who truly believe. Right. They don't really move us, man. You think what you want to think about me? I don't remember that. Damn. Lord, right. most I give me the give me a sound man, come preach the word. Right. That's right. That's what I'm coming to do. Right. I don't care what my mama say, right. or right. her daddy say, or whoever. Right. right. I'm coming right. to preach the gospel, man. Right. Right. All that other shit goofy to me. I'm, right. I'm kidding about it, man. Truth is, what about your own salvation? <laughs> I'm trying to do that. Right. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Right. Because right. our fear lies in the Most High, not right. man. Not man. What could a man do to us that? The most that the most high don't uh, sanction for us to happen anyway. Right. right. The most high control everything. Right. So you're not the most high not gonna we serve the most high, he's gonna protect us. We know that. We believe that. That's why our faith lie here. So we don't care what you got got to say, man. Yeah. Man, look, look, man. People talk down on us, bro. You know, your own baby mama know your whole family talk down on you. I know them crazy men. Okay. Who else you gonna be crazy in these coming months? That's right. right. But that's why the scriptures say blessed are them. Right. right. That that man, right? Right. It's beautiful to be separated from the wicked, man. Right. All right. But they didn't speak highly of the prophets. Why? Because all uh, what the prophets always did. Same thing we're doing now, man. Speaking on the end of the, of the kingdom that these people love, man. And they right. love it in wickedness, man. Right. When you go into first Maccabees, the first chapter, what does it go into, man? All right, wicked men persuading uh 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 Israel, man, to get down with the heathens, man. Uh, Let's go have fun with these hey, heathens, man. It's too much discipline. It's too much uh, 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 required under the most high. <laughs> Jake's something else, man. Jake is so damn feeble, man. But hey, you know, Jake on Jake. You know, two-thirds, they can do nothing other than build two-thirds. Right. They're a lot of seal, okay? Right. And we hope our seal in righteousness. Right. All right, go ahead, brother. This is uh, Matthew's 10 verse. Uh, uh, I'll start verse 34. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Right. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Right. And the daughter against her mother. Right. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Right. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Woo! A man's enemy shall be they of his own household, man. Okay. And a certain brother guy, you know, their own personal testimonies about how their family changed on them, man. Right. You know, and brother, that's okay. You know that you lose your family, you don't see your wife and kids. That's okay, but your house shall give you a hundred fold. Uh, right. Uh, Trust uh, me, man. Uh, Talk to him. Your Talk family, to who? Scriptures. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. The word. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to. Yeah. So trust the word. You know. Right. Well. Well, you know, I said trust me because it wasn't right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not, not me, but wasn't right. You know. This is. Hey, look, man. Every day that we lost, we return back to us, man. Times a hundred, bro. Right. Okay. I will your house shall go bless us beyond what we can conceive, man, our minds. So don't be troubled by losses, brothers. Okay? Right. Losses is a part of this thing. What did you lose, though? Yeah. What, 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 what's, what's the loss? We done already lost it. All right, bro. <laughs> that shit ain't matter. Right. So you right. anything else? What the fuck? What you, what you want to trade it in for, man? A used up hall? We gonna have a thousand wives in the kingdom? Urgent. A fucking yeah. badass son that don't listen to shit? When we gonna have some warriors in the a thousand sons, warriors, man. Daughters up, right, clean, chastity. You know what I'm saying? Things around here hollering about, like, 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 for instance, like diamonds and gold get get checked out of their fucking mind. It's just some fucking rock. We're gonna it's play it. with that. We're gonna create that. Right. Yes. Right. What the fuck you gonna trade him for for the kingdom, man? You get out a hundredfold. Do you understand? They don't, hey, go ahead, brother. Guy. Yeah, but see. The family plays on the flesh, you know, your kid, right. your woman, it, you know, it plays all on the mind on the flesh, man. And look, and Satan like to wallow in it, you know, he like to get you, get you here and there, you know. But what he do, because that same job is to, is to piss you off, okay? And he good at it, damn good at it, you know? But don't worry about that, brother. You keep on, you know, striving in your house shot, man. Right, right. Because our word will come through him. Right. Okay, I'm not no woman, okay, not no job, man. It's through your house shot, my shot, you know, go right. ahead, brother. Now, I just had this quick precept when you were talking about the fear. I just wanted to bring it out real quick, uh, you know, late, but this Matthew 10 and 28, it says, 
and fear not them which kill the body, that are, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right. And that's talking talk, talking about the most high man, y'all about show me all shot. He saw can kill your body, but that's where it ends. He can't go no further than that. The most high can destroy soul and body, man. But for some reason, well, it's, it's your life. Just like the brothers were going into going into earlier, you put your faith, hope, and trust in this devil. You fear this devil, man. You fear he saw the so-called white man. But you don't have no regard as just turning your back on the most high, man. Y'all don't give a shit about what the most high will. Because if you did, you wouldn't be doing the wicked shit you're doing, man. Because you don't fear the most high. And it's the scriptures are all through the scriptures, man. Like it says in Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord. But y'all don't feel the most hot, but your ass will soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah? You can guarantee that, Jack. Yeah, man. Hey, 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 hey. It might have get brutal in these streets, huh? Yeah. Okay? Very uncomfortable for all of us, you know? That's the truth of the matter, man. The comfort that we have, you know, our beds at home, you know, the heat of the air, soap, water, deodorant, toothpaste. Right. Those things are going to be available soon for us, No, man. sir. It's going to get real, Okay? And I think we'll have the soul of being your house watching all the shot, man. Right. All these years you've been out here, we've been prepping spiritually, man. Right. And you brothers have been listening, we've been prepping yourself spiritually, man. Because ain't no guarantee they won't see each other again. Shit. Oh, uh, you know, I'm proud to the change, brother. Right. right. So, Who knows? It's like I'm going to add on to what the brother was saying. And, uh, the uh, the scripture tell you in Hebrews that the most high the father of spirits, man. So the spirit, right. these spirits are part of the most high power. So he's not going to, he, he don't be destroyed. But the scripture is telling you that the most high will put you through hell on this side right. and bring you back and fucked up in the incarnation, man. Right? Yeah. He'll put you through fucking hell. If you come back, you'll be fucked up like you got there with uh, the Indians and shit. Right. If you look like the food. The five arms and shit. Right, right. 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 So I'm not playing, man. Go ahead, buddy. I'll do something. Right. Uh, yeah. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the state stability of thy time. Right. And strength of salvation. Right. Right. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right. Ooh. Wisdom and knowledge, brothers and sisters, shall be the stability of our times. Meaning, uh, if you go to the word stability, the word is uh, I'm a one, okay, which is faith. Us trusting in this in this truth, man, and his understanding gonna keep us stable, man. Keep right. us sound in the times to come, man. Right. It's gonna get real. I can't stress right. it right. enough. Okay. 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 It's gonna okay. get real, man. I, we can't even articulate right. we can't, we the can't. most high. We can't, brother. You know what I'm saying? We can treat these people, but you have no <laughs> fucking idea, man. The most high is about theatrics, man. Right. And being here, you know, in America, you're used to certain comforts, man. Right. That's the truth of the matter. We are used to certain comforts. Right. right. If and they go, <laughs> show what the hell is. Yeah, but this wheel's going to keep us staying with our brothers and sisters. Right. And how about Chanel Shaw going to do miracles for us, man? Right, I. I right. Hey, 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 I read Matthew 15 today. Our Lord, you know what I'm saying? Um, Oh, got them five loaves, right? Them fishes. Pray. She had distribute to the brothers out there, man. That's gonna happen for us too. He said, right. and uh, John, what? So you gonna do greater works than I do? Right. Get that real fast, brother. Uh, John fourteen and twelve. Hey, I'm gonna bring this out real quick. Come on, uh, just to uh, make sure every brother understood. Uh, this phone call is going, man. The most I be able to destroy the body and soul. So this is uh, in 2nd Ezra chapter 14 and verse 35. It says, For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be, made, be manifest, and the works of the ungodly be declared. So the most I judge you when you come back, man. That's why I put a saying, you see people uh, 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 with the handicaps, so-called what they call retarded, all right, little babies getting hit by buses, a straight bullet going through uh, five houses and hitting the time look right. All right, that's the most high uh, uh, getting them for some wicked shit they done in the past life, man. Right? Well, that's what the scripture is saying, man. Esau can't come get you. Uh, Esau don't know what he did in his past life. Right? He can't come get you on this side and say, I'm about to uh, kill you for the shit you did in your past life. That's the level that the most high is on, right? Right, all right, right. Right, yeah, man, you know, just for better get that clarity, you know. Go ahead, bro. Uh, wisdom, Solomon. Uh, this is wisdom of Solomon 10 verse 9 
but wisdom delivered from pain those that attend upon her. It said, but wisdom right. delivered from pain Woo. those that attend upon her. That's right. why I always like to stress out here, brothers. Study. Take your study serious, man. Read so that you can get acquainted with wisdom. Right. That's your woman, brother. Right. You got to get acquainted with her, man. In the spirit, you know, see, you can't get acquainted with wisdom in the flesh. She, you're you going to find her there. You're going to find her in the spirit, man. So if you attend upon wisdom, she's going to deliver you from the pain that's coming. Because pain coming out of pipe, man. Harsh pain from the Lord. All right, now read the other one, brother. Wisdom is uh, Solomon 9, verse 18. Uh -huh. So the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were thought the things that are pleasing unto, unto thee. Uh-huh. And we're saved through wisdom. And we're saved through wisdom. Right. That's how we're going to be saved, brothers and sisters. Through this wisdom and knowledge, man. Trusting it. Okay? Making this our love. Our everything, man. Which is Yahweh shot. You know? He comes in the volume of this book. Right? Go back to that second entry for me, bro. Uh, this second entry is chapter 15 and verse 3. Bear not the imaginations against thee. Uh -huh. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right, don't let the unbelief of anybody trouble you, brother. Right. No matter who it may be, man. Right. You have to be sure that your how about how shy is real, man. Our forefathers weren't sure in the wilderness, man. There was a lot of gagging around, BSing, man. Even though they saw the miracle, they saw the chariots, still didn't believe. You gotta beat the niggas so he can believe, man. <laughs> but don't have that hard hearted, bro. You should be sure that the word is real about what's going on in the world, man. Go ahead, I. Right? For all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithful. Right, that's the judgment of an unbeliever, man. You're going to die, okay, no matter who you are. Right. If you don't believe, you're going to get put to death by the Most High God. All right, go ahead, I. Right? Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. You're going to bring plagues globally, okay? Go ahead, I. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. These things are prepared globally, okay, or being prepared. Yeah. And the Heavenly Father is going to bring it to pass, man. Right. We see the stages of it happening right now, man. Right. right. A global food shortage, man. Yeah. These high gas prices, people can't afford. Bro, you think that you'd you be paying $10 a gallon? Right. Because they're going to be coming soon. Right. Right. Paying. $20 for a gallon of milk. You don't want to pay that for no gallon of milk, man. Right. It's going to be real out here, man. Right. People are already, you know, violent as hell. Crime already yeah, increasing. Yeah. It's going it to get, it's going to go to a whole other level, man. Right. Because most jakes are poor. Right. Most right. Americans are poor, man. Right. What do you think people going to do when their kids can't eat, man? They're going to get violent. And secondly, as it goes into that, man. Yes, they do. They get violent. Yeah, man. It's going to get violent out here in these streets because prophecy is happening, man. Right. The most I can read it, the judge. Right. The reason that these things are happening is because of wickedness, man. The world has been engulfed in wickedness. Right. Okay? From sea to shining sea. All right, go ahead, brother. Right. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, right. the love of many shall wax cold. Right. Iniquity, sin, shall abound, man, increase. The love of many people shall wipe cold, man. Okay, hey, look, bro. Look at the news, man. You see some cold stuff happening. I'm like, whoa. People killing kids, man, killing the elderly. Okay. Out here in Houston, man. Roll race about to get plucked every day. Right. All because you cut them off, man. I had a dude, hey, look. The Lord with me, man. A dude behind me, bro, on my book. But he's gonna be close, bro. Blowing his horn up. Why did dude blowing his horn at me? I guess he was trying to get around, but it, like, like it was a one-way street. I'm like, dude. So I turned left. <laughs> he looked the window down and said, "I ought to kill your B.A. I'm like, what? Wow. I'm like, what, what I do to this dude? But these people are in that. Look, they in that spirit, man. Right, right. And I think how about you know, shot to save me out of that situation, man. Because right, I don't tell like what he was on, you know. That's why we gotta move wisely, man. Yeah. Because you let that flesh try that tough guy spirit mm -hmm. try to jump out. Yeah, you don't know what state the matter of mind state to, uh, that person could be in. You can really be sitting there, have that pistol already one in the chamber ready. The next person that man give me an opportunity and shit, 
we got to move with wisdom, man. Uh-huh. That tough guy shit, throw that shit out the fucking window, man. Mm-hmm. Be spiritual men, man. Right. right. I ain't saying don't defend, don't defend yourself when you get touched, but at all costs, man, avoid that shit, man. Right. Yeah, you yeah. to be spiritual men to be able to, man, see when them demons and shit uh, is it, after you, man. And at the end of it, the most high is testing us all the time, man. Right. You will react the wrong way. Say even if you do get the best, get into a squabble, get the best of somebody, now your man's got the Esau in your life uh, through this legal system, man. Uh, yeah, man, that shit was wild. Like, what the hell is it? They're screaming, bro. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go down the road because uh, these niggas are different over here. Like, go ahead, huh? Yeah. Just to add up to what the brother said, leave these people in the world the fuck alone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave them alone, bro. These people about to start dealing with rent problems. Right. Can't right. take care of their fucking kids. Right. All right, they're going to be on fucking edge, man. Everybody. Everybody. Fucking right. violence yeah, is going to fucking increase, man. Right. Leave these people alone. Right. The only people I talk to is the brotherhood. Yeah. Niggas at work, hey, what's up? Right. And bye. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. leave, leave people right. alone, bro. We already know what's coming. Don't get into no fucking controversy and conflict and back and forth with people. Right. Shit, niggas already in Texas got guns. Dude right. at my job said, hey, uh, JB, and pulled out a strap. <laughs> I'm like, shit. <laughs> Going the other way. Right, yeah. Hey, I'm about to go home, bro. Niggas yeah. is ready to let loose, bro. So, hey, take heed, bro. Right, niggas, yeah. Jake, Jake, hey, look, man, Jake, on some grabbed out auto shit, man. These niggas are crazy, OK? I don't, I don't even like going outside no more. Girl, when I'm going to bed, like, look, shawty, I look, I don't look, I don't look, I ain't, I ain't no game. Netflix and chill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, you ain't chill. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Oh, God, that beat me in the metaverse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's over. Go ahead, yeah, Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> 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 Y'all niggas crazy, man. Y'all niggas crazy, man. Yeah. 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 That was in that movie, that murder verse sex shit. It yeah. was uh, Sandra Bullock, uh, Rambo, I forget his real yeah. name. Demolition, Demolition right, man. Right, they, right. they was doing that right. shit up in there. So it's all predictive programming. Yeah. You, you know? saw Sylvester yeah, right. Stallone. Yeah. He, he threw that shit off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's why I ate this shit. Come on, yeah. yeah. some real box. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Bro, you sit in there, bro, some down. Bro, that shit is, that shit is yeah. wild. Wow, bro. I can't, bro. What the hell is this, bro? Uh, just going back to the point the brother had talked about dealing with these people in the world, man, and, you know, all these spirits that are going to be riled up, you know, as, as these things happen, man. You know, one of the things the brother had talked about, man, is just avoiding these fools, man, right? because they got nothing but darkness on them, you know. The past couple of years, they've been, in, you know, in these cells, you know, in their homes, you know. They, they don't have the spirit of the Lord on them. They, they, they've right. been drinking down this Babylon juice, right, right. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and they looking for, for any wrath, any type of emotion to, to, to get that frustration out. Right, and them right. demons have been plaguing them the whole time, you know? So I just want to land back off the brother's uh, 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 point there with some scripture. Uh, this is uh, the book of the Ecclesiasticus, chapter 22 and 13. It says, talk not much with a fool right. and go not to him that have no understanding. Yeah. None of these people have understanding. You're not, you're not gonna drop no jewels. Right. The scripture says, right. wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right. Who, who is our top? Us, the men of the Lord, right. okay? You, you can't tell no fool to be stable. He already out of there. Out of that, that's what the city of confusion does. It, 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 it makes you a looney tune, right. okay? Right. It says, beware of him. Just like the, the, the brother was going into, you know? Dude, dude stalking you. You know what I'm saying? You got to be perceptive. Scripture says, uh, be wise as a serpent. And what? Armless as a dove. Okay? It says, beware of him, lest thou have trouble. So you're going to have trouble with
with these people, man. We already got enough hell on, on our own, man. You know, as a, a brother, I was uh, the elder saying down there, man, hey, avoid him, man. None of that macho man spirit, okay? It says, least thou have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Because what is what does he have on him? He ain't got no wisdom. He just got nothing but foolish. He's he full of foolishness. So, so just, you know, land back and off the brother man and for younger brothers and even remind us of ourselves. Because, because that flesh, as the brother was going into, that flesh is what Esau is going to try to use to tempt you and to get you to start going off. You know, uh, these frustrations, you know, as far as bills, women, children, you know, all of these things are just to plague the mind. But like the brother was saying, get, get in, in, into that habit of, of, of your reading and, 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 and that love that you have uh, uh, with Sophia. You know, last point. It says, and thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted with madness. You know? So, so yeah, just wanted to add that on to the brother, you know, just to fortify the scripture. This is this uh, Matthew 3, verse 4. I mean, so like in Matthew 4, so like Matthew 4, verse, uh, I'll start from the top. Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward in hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of the most high, command that these stones be made bread. And the point and why I'm going into is that Yahweh Shai is the, the example as this is what we're going to be going through. We're going to be right. tempted, man. Tempted, right. You see, and it's always going to be uh, the left-hand side taking care of those things because what these, what, what these people don't realize is that Yahweh Shai is dealing with us, man. Right. So they're not really getting provoked by what we're doing, but a demon is getting on them to get on us, man. Right. Just like how... Uh, now this happened to Yahushua. And then it said, this is how Yahushua combated against that demon. It says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by the by every word that proceeded out of the mo out of the mouth of the most high man. So to combat against these demons, we resort back to this word, man. Uh, it's a precept for everything you're gonna do. Yep. It is a precept for everything you're gonna face, man. All right, and all Satan is trying to do is give you a carnal, a carnal version of our inheritance, man. Right. All the promises that's it, it's not just promise, it's our inheritance. Yeah. The kingdom of heaven is our inheritance. Right. So Satan is who he saw is trying to give a carnal means to it, man. Okay? It ain't no if it's gonna happen. No, it's a matter of when. Right. It's going it, it, it's already waiting for us, man. The most I've already forgiven the nation of Israel, man. All of us, man. And we have to play it out, man. We have to finish the uh, finish the uh, finish this race, man. All right, for the ones who's contending and fighting in this thing, it's about finishing the race, man. Showing that you believe that this uh, the inheritance is true, man. All right, that the most high is gonna make good on his word, man. All right, instead of because that's what he was what Satan was doing. He's like, I can get like, hey, man, my father already got this promise <laughs> to me and more. On a whole other level, man. And I won't be in this body when right. I have it. Right. Right. Yeah. You can't better when he was most vulnerable. Right. Most vulnerable. Right. That's how he saw coming, man. Right. He's going to have people so desperate, man. He's going to be so right. vulnerable. Like, right. look, look, when he come to that MOTV, it's going to be like on the money. Right. Uh, uh, so everybody's like, ooh. Right. Look, we need to get this. And all you do is going to follow that five, two black woman. To the to the uh, 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 right to the office. Right. Y'all being loud, do kids ready right. to get the MOTB, man? Right. Right. So that's what's coming down the pipe. Right. Right. Go ahead, I'm glad these niggas lining up at CBS and then oh yeah, walk. oh yes, right. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. The global research is upon us, brothers. Go ahead, I. Right. Second Ezra 15 and verse uh, five. Behold, the Lord will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine. Death and destruction, right? For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, right? And their hopeful works are fulfilled. This is why such plans are coming, brothers and sisters. This is the why, right here. For wickedness, the most often to address the whole world, right? Okay, especially this country here. This is an evil, demonic place, man. 
All right, the mother parties and abominations of the earth. All wickedness is a congratulator and promoter here in America, man. Right. They make a mockery at sin, as it says in Proverbs. So the most I got to deal with the world, man. We're going to verse 14, all right? Second answer was 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw it not. Right, the sword and destruction draw it not on the whole world. Okay, go ahead, I. Right? And one people shall stand up and, and fight against another. Why? Because things are going to be greasy in these streets, man. No food, no water, no shelter, okay, no money. People want to get desperate, man. Right. Rise and abuse these streets, okay? Insurrections, seditions. Right. This is what's coming to America, man. Right. These Americans are pampered, bro. And they live a careless lifestyle, man. They have access to food and all these other goodies that the world don't truly have. Right. So when these things are cut off, man, these people are going to go into a whole different mindset, okay? Your little neighbor, that, you know, that's, no, that's cool with you. Y'all talking, you know, talking about this, that, and the third. We ain't got no food, man. You're going to change up on you in a sudden. All right? right? Go ahead, Doc. Them first movies starting to become a reality. Yeah, it is. They will become a reality, bro. Yeah. Second Ezra 15 and uh, 15. For the sword and their destruction draw it not. Uh -huh. The one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. Swords in their hands. Today they got guns. But the modern day sword is the gun, man. But people, you know, they might have a sword, a bat, you know, anything that they can get to riot, to take what they want, man. Okay, you're going to see mobs of men. Right. Going from here to there, looking for goods, man. Right. To sustain right. themselves. That's right, right yeah, now. man. That's right. That is serious, and that's going to happen. Go ahead, Doc. For there should be seditions among men. Right, that's an uprising against the government. Like, hey, look, we hungry, man. Right. Do something. I know food's truck running, HGV empty. Right. Mm. Feed us. Mm. Yeah, right. But then, then, but then when they see that when the government ain't helping out, that's they really gonna lose it, man. Yeah. Especially the so-called black and Latino Ooh. community, man. When no government assistance is not coming through, right? That car not working, man. Right. You, bro, you gonna see Jake turn up? True. Right. Jake already gonna crash when that car don't be swiping. That you know, <laughs> the uh, grocery line. Right. They be not hollering and cussing. Right. I seen my, I seen my, you know, grandma and my auntie them cuss. Like hell, no, 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 no. Right, yes. because yeah. because because the EBT card wasn't working, man. Right, they call them, you know, call them around. Right, until they get the money on there, bro. But when it's not there, you're gonna see Jake truly turn up, man. It's it's all because of prophecy. Okay, go ahead, huh? It says, for there should be sedition among men, uh huh, and invading one another, like invading one another, man. You're gonna be invaded by different mobs of people. Right. Coming to your house to spoil your goods, man, to take right. what you got. Right. Okay? I dare you to cook a good hot meal in that day. It, look, bro, whoever smell that food, they're coming at your house, that's where they're coming to. Right, right, right. Hey, okay. This is serious, man. Yep. Watch those movies. It's good, bro. Those movies are real. Okay, they give you them scenarios for a reason, man. Anything that you have and they need, and they, they, want, they come to get it, man. And they include your mother. Okay, your children, man. Go ahead, huh? Hey, I, they might not even smell it, bro. When you get home, you start to listen, man. They might just walk out and just come up in your shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you ain't got shit, you gotta kill this motherfucker to defend yourself. Right. Yeah, but most food had to be cooked, man. Yeah. And that's gonna be people, people smell that. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be real, man. Right. All right, go ahead, huh? When you hungry, yo, sisters, they are right. heightened, especially right. your, your smelling sisters. People gonna smell that shit a mile away and come to mob it. All right? Yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna get real bad out here. People that's doing all that uh doomsday prepping and shit, all right, thinking that's gonna protect them and uh sustain them in that day. Man, you had that uh one guy uh rap the news. He was a uh he claimed that he believed in Yahweh, but he was a doomsday prepper. You see what the most high did did to him? All that uh porno prepping is gonna come tonight, you know. It says second answer is 15. And 16, for there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall stand in their own power. So, got the saying, when there's no law, 
okay in the streets then it's lawless man all right well there's no law it's chaos and that's exactly what the elite that esau eat on the so-called white people want to bring they want to bring order out of chaos man all right so your police your government officials your constable your sheriffs they're gonna be out of commission man all right, they might, you know, they gonna pick up their strap and go to hunting too for food and shit. They people just like us, man. All right, so it's gonna be lawless out in the street, and the people are gonna be looking to take what you got. All right. She says, Second Ezra chapter 16. Uh, so like it's second Ezra chapter 15, verse uh 15. I'm gonna start back at 15. It says, For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. Right. I believe it's in uh the sixth chapter where it's talking about friends shall fight like enemies, man. All right. I believe it's second Ezra this uh the sixth chapter. All right. Homeboys, homegirls, best friends, all right, neighbors. You have the guy uh Super Bowl J is talking about in that day, my Edomite neighbors gonna protect me. Nah, man. Really believe that. Right. 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 Really believe bro. That nigga really believe that shit, huh? Wow. It's gonna be crazy. it's gonna be every man for itself, right? If they're not under the shadow and protection of how about shit me I was shot. Right. All right? Go ahead uh. For the sword and their destruction draw it nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Yeah, you're gonna have race riots too. All right. It's gonna be race riots out here, man. All right. Issue between uh black so-called blacks and so-called whites, all right. Trying to uh, uh, stop stop Asian hate, all right? right. People, <laughs> people going to be fighting against each other, bro. All right? Go ahead, huh? It's the second Ezra 6, verse 24. Mm-hmm. He said, at that time, shall friends fight one against another, all right. like enemies. Yeah. And the earth shall stand in fear to those that dwell therein. The springs of the mountains shall stand still in three it's like and in three hours they should not run and why is friends gonna fight it against each other like enemy jump up to the 22nd verse by push up first uh second address chapter 6 verse 22. he said and suddenly shall the soul place appear unsolved the song places really the, so like suddenly, suddenly and suddenly shall the song places Appear unsold, yeah. right? Your Walmarts, all right. Your HEBs, your you know your 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 places where you go get your your uh product, your produce and shit, right, right. all right. Also your Walmart uh warehouses, uh okay, grocery supply warehouses that shipping out, <clears throat> you know, supplying these different uh uh stores with all this food, right. all right. Shit gonna be empty. We right. went through uh Harvey in Texas, uh in Texas, all right, over here in Houston. The brother was, you know, driving around. We were driving around with the brother, and you would see fucking people lined up from the store. HEB, even though it say closed, people lined up at the store all the way to the fucking street, waiting for food. Yeah. All right, yeah. because they have no other options, man. Once the right. government shut these people off, they ain't gonna know what the fuck to do, man. Hey, all right. What that hurricane that came through in 2008? I, I yeah. I, I had a store on Scott Street, right across the street from that HEV, man. Bro, I, I was coming up to the store, you know, the hurricane came to Cal Ray. I used to come up there to protect my shit. You know what I'm saying? I knew they was going to be trying to break into the shit. Bro, I sat there for two days straight and watched motherfuckers get up early in the morning, fill up HEV parking lot, bitch, closed, bro, and sit there the whole fucking day, bro. Yeah. When it got dark, they found it, you know what I'm saying? Right. The next day, Early in the morning, bro, chilling that fucking light up, bro. Like it was a goddamn, uh, they call that shit before the football game. Mm-hmm. But it did uh, a lot of gate, uh, uh, tailgate, the tailgate. Just dumb ass niggas just sitting out there, man. Looking stupid as hell, bro. And that's how it's gonna be, man. Right. You niggas don't have no other uh, alternative. You trust in this bitch, man. Only a Howard Bosch and Yawashi gonna go, 
gonna be able to, you know what I'm saying? Right. Get, get you right in that day, man. Nothing right. else, man. Nothing fucking else, man. Right, right. Back in Second Ezra six and verse twenty two, and suddenly shall the song places appear unsung, right? And the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Yeah, now this is becoming more realistic than it has ever been before, right? All right, now we're hearing about increases of food, okay? Inflation. Now they're talking about how food, okay, could ultimately enter into a hyperinflation yeah. where you spend six dollars one hour the next hour is 12. Yeah. the next hour is 24. right and it keep multiplying right it have this this is not out of reason right it happened in uh zimbabwe right it happened in venezuela not too long ago yeah. right. all right this is the reality this is what coming to the shores of america but that's like you really go ahead they were bring it to the goddamn zoo To go buy a fucking loaf of bread and not the whole loaf. Right. right? You got no dirt running around with a motherfucking knapsack full of bread. That looking right. nice niggas. A wheelbarrow. Right. 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 A fucking wheelbarrow, bro. Full of bread. Full of fucking money. Worthless, man. Right. That's what coming here. All these rappers spreading the money on their phone holes, holding it up. Right. Like right. the money gonna talk right. to them and shit. Right. That money ain't gonna be Woo. worth a goddamn thing, man. And that's what we telling our people, man. Don't trust in the fucking money. Stop trusting in the system of fucking Esau, man. Trust in your how about shimmy I was shot. If you want to be protected, all right? And that's only for the elect. The rest of our people are going to trust in Esau. They're going to run to the government to go take the solution, which is the MOTB, and Esau still going to kill him, man. Yep. All right? The scripture said, even though you go to him, he's still going to trot you under his feet. Man. You can't, how you going to trust a demon, all right? He ain't gonna do nothing but double cross you. Yeah, he has something real quick. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 21 uh-huh. says, Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Yeah, our people been living in America, okay, where they can go to a fast food restaurant, okay, and they can buy this cheap ass gas, all right? And they think they sell to be, no, we good here, bro. I, can, I got money left over. I got money in my savings. Or I can just go over here and buy it. You know, this shit don't sell over here. But what the scripture going to say? Go ahead, huh? It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Woo! Right? That's what our people are finding themselves in a state of great confusion. Right. Why? Because... Evils are growing upon the earth, man. When you break down that word evils, it breaks down into bad times, man. Right. Fucking five dollars, four dollars uh, uh, a gallon of gas, that's bad fucking times, man. All right? Because our people, speaking on our people, we making it paycheck to paycheck check, check, already, right, bro. Right, right, check, right, right, check, right. We are, so when you go into the gas pump, you got that big ass hiked up yeah. truck and you spending $40 a day on gas, that shit gonna hurt, man. Hey. You spending, you used to spend what, twenty dollars to uh fill up your uh car. That shit cost fifty dollars now. All right, and it's gonna continue to increase. The most I said that it's gonna grow upon the planet Earth, man. Right. Go ahead. I gotta okay. Go ahead. Uh, verse twenty-two. It's like it, bro. No. It says. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish mm. of famine, mm. and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. That's, right. that's that Amos. Um, Amos the uh, eight, eight chapter. Yo, that's Amos the eight chapter. Uh, you can bring out your priest up. This is uh, Psalms thirty-three and eighteen. It reads: Behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon them that fear Him, upon them that hope in His mercy. To deliver their souls from death mm. and to keep them alive yes. and famine. Mm. Uh, so why would this be written? 
if there was not death and famine coming. Bad right. times, man. Right, 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 right. Okay? Behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon them that fear him, man, the elect, man. That didn't include the rest of you fucking shiftless shift niggas, man. Okay? You part of the two thirds, man. You don't catch the sword, man. You don't catch the famine and the pestilence, man. To deliver that soul from death, so that means you you gonna need deliverance from death. You gonna need it, right? And to keep them alive in famine, there would be no need for this to be written if there was not gonna be horrible, horrible, hard famine, man. Right. And the seven, the eye of Yahweh was upon them, so Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, is gonna be your, your deliverance from that, man. Right. Nothing else, nothing else, man. Right. Okay, be not deceived, man. Right. Okay. Nothing else is going to save you, man. But y'all, by shit, y'all was shot, man. You need to really get your shit together, man. Come back to your power. Come back to your nationality. It's only for the elect. But we don't, we don't keep blowing that horn. Right. And, and to the end, man, we know you niggas ain't, ain't, ain't listening, man. Right. Right. Like right now, right now, if I'm what forty degrees out here, niggas are standing outside of the goddamn rodeo, listening to all fifty year old niggas rap. Song that's 10 to 15, 20 years old, man. Right. Not even concerned about it. Walk, take and put a cup down, man. Put y'all into the into the folly, man. A sword, a sword is rubbish, man. Shall we then make mirth, man? No, man. So like, bro. I got a quick one for you up, just to back you up on that. This is Job chapter five and verse nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. That's the time of nuclear war. Right. Yet in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. That's talking about when the missiles hit ground zero, man. All right? Because there's going to be deliverance uh, of the elect through Yahweh Shah and the angels by the way of flying saucers, so-called. Okay, which are the chariots of Yahweh by Shem Right. Verse 20. And famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. Right. Thou shalt be here from the scorch of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stone of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. And that's spiritual power, man. Right. The, most, the most high going to have even the animals to help protect. Right. Okay, the earth going to help protect. All right, the most high going to put the spirit upon the men of the Lord that served him. Right. And also the women, okay, to right. uh, laugh at famine. That's crazy. Right. While people are starving. Right. All right. 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 The most high going to put the spirit on his men to laugh at the famine. Right. And say, ha ha, that's right. what you get. We told you. Right. We told you it was coming, right. and that's going to be the greatest feeling ever, man. Right. All right, to yep. say Yahweh Bashimi, I was shot. I told your ass, right. and you run to trust the Esau Edom. Right. This nigga Joe Biden, Woo. a the old Dusty Crocker that that has the history of locking you niggas up in the fucking penitentiary. God. You will trust him. God. All right, the Most High said, "Look, I'm gonna protect you." And you said, "Nah." I, nah, I don't want to hear that. Right. Our people are mad, man. Right. So this right. is what's coming for the elect, man. Protection. Right. But destruction upon two thirds of you Israelites in America, man. Right. As the scripture said in Second Ezra, because of your unbelief, man. Right. The elect, they had faith in this word when he was preached. Right. Okay. Therefore, the Most High, through His Son Yahweh Shah and the angels, will grant protection, man. This is the only protection that we have, man. So, if you don't come under the shadow of this gospel, which is your Al Bashim Al Shah word, you're going to be left out there wide open wide. to be subject right. to whatever the fuck right. Esau bringing, man. Right, man. Esau bringing fucking mechanical dogs, robots, laser beams, man, all types of weird shit, man. Right. All right? All right. That don't take knowledge. Hey, we don't need to put a dress up with their neck. We don't need to dress neck, man. We don't need to put a ass and be calling through this bitch and step right over you, man. See more curse on you, Salak so Rayyam, man. Right. right. Oh, man, look here, man. This is look. This is serious business, man. Right. Okay. You better choose. You better make a decision, man. Okay. Make a decision now, man. Come back to your power, your nationality, because bro, you think, man, we're not gonna be out here. Not saying we're not. We don't. 
on our own accord. This is about to be a family of word and and literal family, man. Yeah. You do you not understand? Oh man, look here, man. And the brother brought out about that six months, bro. That's a that's an important time frame to remember, man. Okay. All this shit is is, is set up, man. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's intentional. Esau has a Esau the elite how war going on between Russia and Ukraine. Just drop some little Jews on you about Russia and Ukraine. Russia distributes, okay, export 18% of the world's wheat. Ukraine exports 25% of the world wheat, all right? Wheat is bread, all right? If you didn't know. So bread, the cost of bread is gonna go up. Bread is almost yeah. goddamn everything, all right? We is in almost every pancakes, all right? Every Wonder Bread, okay, all types of shit. Especially them damn box foods that our people love to go get. They're so damn cheap. Pasta, all right? All type noodles, all right? Them damn ramen noodles ain't gonna be 50 cent no more, man. This shit is going up, man, which is gonna cause great famine, man. It's all intentional. Esau want to wipe out the middle class. He want to wipe out you jakes, man. Right. He want to have a super rich right. and a super poor, man. And this is everything. All roads are leading to the chip, all right? It's going to make you so desperate to be desperate. It's going to set up your environment that's so desperate to be desperate and say, look, I have the solution, man. All right? Brother, got to it yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Egypt is talking about America, all right? America is known in the scriptures as spiritual Egypt. Why? Because it has the 12 tribes of Israel over here in hardcore captivity, man. All 12 tribes are over here in America, man, suffering hell, man. So this place, America, is spiritual Egypt. All right, go ahead. All right, and, and, and Egypt is another uh, uh, symbolism for bondage, you know? It says, and stay on horses, and trust in chariots because they are many. Right. Our people really believe that the U.S. military is going to protect them, man. Yeah, 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. Our people really believe that the the uh, the police is really going to protect them, man. All right. Right. We just read that oh, it's going to be seditious. The police, the law. Right. That's going to be out the window, man. Right. So what are you going to trust in then? All right. Go ahead. Huh? It says in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. All right, our people ain't trusting in the uh, the, the truth, the true message of Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. Our people ain't coming to this gospel and repenting, man. Right. Okay, and turning back to the Most High Word so they can receive this uh, protection. Why? Because they get all these different perks and benefits from a fucking America, man. And they think it's going to last forever, man. Right. They're under the impression by they father the devil, man. Right. Esau believed that his house is going to continue forever. And our people like that fucking homeborn slave, man. Right. That Sambo, man. Okay, that house nigga. Master, we going to be all right? Yeah. No, nigga, you're not going to be all right, man. Master don't care nothing about you, man. And he's going to show you yep. his true colors, man. And he already doing it, man. Yep. But our people is playing too many fucking games and living in a fairy tale land to see it, man. And ultimately, the most high have blinded them, man. Yep. All right? Through the angels to not see the truth, man. All right? That's what's going on, man. The most high has blinded the minds of our people to where they can't even see five foot in front of them, man. They look at the news and make fucking TikTok videos about the damn gas prices, man. Yeah. There ain't nothing to fucking laugh at. Right, right. But you go all down you uh TikTok, our people got hella videos, man. You ain't gonna be laughing here soon, man. Right. How long you still? Yeah. Well, 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 even going back to what the brother had uh uh, uh brought out the precept in Proverbs. It was Proverbs about the vision. Well, there's no vision, the, the people perish. Right. Yep. You know. And, and, and two thirds of our people don't have a vision at all. At all. The brother was talking about the, you know, uh, Christianity and itself. They don't give you a vision. No. You know, they should be the main ones. Vocab, uh, uh, eat through. Okay. You know, all of these people that claim that they know the Bible, what, what, why aren't they they telling you these things that are happening? Because it's only for the men of the Lord to do. You know, ain't, ain't nobody talking about the MOTB. Aside right. so from the apostles of Great Millstone, the men, the men of Great Millstone, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. telling you about these things that are happening. All of these things are compounding on, the, on each other. Right. Okay, right. exceedingly right. waxing work. Right. right. You know? Mm -hmm. 
And if you and, and if you don't have the spirit of your house, you have what's up, man. Good. Through. Good. You through. There, there will be no other name to call on. There will be no other uh, uh, church to run into. Joel Osteen. Dollar, none of these none of that scenarios are right. gonna work, man. Right. Oh, and, and that's what I was gonna say as well. The brother that talked about, you know, the, the arm sleeve of money. You ain't even gonna be able to get your money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna get your money? Right. Who you gonna How call? you gonna pay for anything? Right. Right. Run on the bank. Oh? Yeah, yeah, right. Everything right. gonna be on the quote unquote debit card. See, he's up and set you up the whole right. See, he, he ain't playing. He ain't playing checkers. You playing chess. Right. Been playing chess. Right. Okay. Got you enamored with all these cell phones. What happens when the cell phone's gone? Stop. What you gonna do? You gonna go to a landline? What's that? How you gonna use that? Right. See, this has always been about war. Why you like the brother just said, why you playing games? It's like it, brother. You got it. I got a piece of I, I want to uh, make a point with the elder was talking about how them niggas down there at uh, the Reliance Stadium waiting to see these rappers and the spirit they in, that party spirit. You know, I just wanted to bring this out this precept with uh, Luke 21. I'm going to start at verse 34. I'm going to read down a little bit. He say, And take heed unto yourself, unless any time your heart, your heart shall be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness. And cares of this life, and so that, and so that they shall come on you unto you unaware. Right, right. Take take heed, man. Snap out of the bullshit, man. Don't let your mind be consumed with party and bullshit, party and man. Bullshit. Don't let your mind be consumed with that bullshit, man. Okay, it says so that that day come upon you. On the words, man, so don't catch you off fucking guard, man. Right. That's what's gonna happen to these simple ass niggas, man. It's gonna be caught off the front guard, man. They're gonna be hollering to Jesus, Buddha, Allah, all kind of bullshit, man. Yeah. It's gonna get so serious, you niggas gonna be so dead, you might pray to a box of cereal, man. The nigga gonna be bummed out of your fucking mind looking for anything to move, man. Right. Ain't shit shaking. Right. Death, man. Right, 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 right. Read on, man. First uh, 35. For as a snare shall it come. On all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. As a trap. Okay? All them that live on the face of the earth. You! That's you! Read. Verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accountable, accountable and worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Hey, and like brother, what's that scripture that says, Blessed is they. That when uh how shot come back and catch him, watch. catch him still watch. Yep. Right. Read that again. Start at the top, bro. Okay. Verse uh, uh Saint Luke 21 and verse 36. He say, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. I got that preaching. Yeah, stay on your stay on your watch, man. Continue to watch, man. Continue to pray, man. Okay? Because these things, don't, it, how the truth says, says that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all those things that should come to pass if the Most High have mercy on you, man. If you see fit for you, man. Through your path, through your prayer, and through your faith and your actions, man. Okay? But this is all, this is pertaining to the elect, man. Okay? You can't obtain, you can't, you can't, ain't nothing you can do on, work on this earth. To, to gain election and he came into the movement. Right. It's for the elect. Okay? That was it on that. Okay? And that's what these niggas is out here doing in that mind frame. Party and bullshit, man. Right. Party and bro. Motherfuckers at my job left early. At least a third of them, bro. Left early to be found for the goddamn rodeo, man. Bobby! Power! Kiki! Wow. Yep. 2022. Right. <laughs> right. That's, that's how I'm not got it. Woo. Recycled bullshit. Woo. You know? And, and even if it was new, hey, hey, the whole mirth is gone. Man. You know? The, if, 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 if the metaverse is the only thing he's talking about, man, you know? He done, he done got you with, with, with the Apple iPhone 25. Right. You know? All, all that's faded away. You know, now, now you got a virtual reality, everything, you know, 
that's that's nothing else left. See, see, the boys, she ain't working no more. Woo! Everybody leaving Christianity, you know. You uh, you know this place is through when you got the end up. Don't even want to worship Caesar Boy. She ain't no more. Right, man. That's right, right. You know, right. Ain't that something? This, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. The wine, uh, what is the new wine morning? Right. Is that what you're Isaiah 20, 24. Yep. You know, all these people are languishing, man. All right. You know, they're, they're disgusted, but they're still trying to keep that murder. You know, they're like, oh, okay, here we go. Rodeo time. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's let's go. charge you back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. they try to charge and they can't. You know, Valentine's Day didn't do it. See, all of these. Uh, the wheel of the year. You got all of these idols set up, you know, every 30 or so days, you know, on the left hand side, right. you know, all these demonic powers. Lupercalia, we just went through uh, uh, Janus. Before that, you had Saturnalia. Right. Before that, you had a couple of others. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and all of these things are to keep that vibration of darkness here right. in this society. That's right, I'll east of east, east the country. Right, I'll Right, it's start. Right, it's Right, all of these things are coming about. You got quote unquote Mother's Day, the Queen of Heaven vibration. Woo! So all of these things aren't working as they used to. You know, they were potent at first. Right. You know, when 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 Esau uh, uh, came over here, they had Jake on the, uh, uh, under their feet. You know, colon, colonizing, industrializing. You know. When you go through that time period, Jake, I mean, uh, so like Esau was feeling proud about himself. Right. You know? All of that pride is being brought low. Woo! You Very. know? You got it, right? Very low. Isaiah 24 and 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Right. right. It's being broken down. All these systems, okay, because that's what they are. They're systems of right. wickedness. The brother right. I talked about it, they're a snare unto you. Right. Okay? All of these snares, they don't have that same uh, 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 grip, okay? Scripture says that we are not ignorant of what? Satan's devices. Satan's devices. Right. What, what is a vice? Right. It has a grip, okay? Right. On, on, on a trap, even better. On who? Jake, okay? Trap you spiritually. That's what those idols do. It wraps around your spirit. And it goes, that's what them demons do. And they just start piling on you. What does the scripture talk about? Uh, uh, about uh, uh, about finding the, the strong man. Right. When, uh, uh, if somebody can grab that, because I don't want to. Uh, uh, say, what if you find the strong gone. man, the house can be taken. Exactly. And so, so removing our power, your power. Removing our, our, our Lord, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, all of those things Esau has been able to do through gradualism and, and, and denouncing who we are as a people. You got that up? Yo. Go ahead. Mark 3 and 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house right. and spoil his goods, uh -huh. except he first find the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Right. And that's what Esau has been able to do to two thirds of our people through Christianity, these lies, uh, 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 Babylon in itself, these wicked systems, uh, 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 the, the end of our kids, you know, feeding this, this poison. Right. You know, engulfing all of these, these wayward doctrines. That's why we, we, we had to be purified. Right. You know, had to be cleansed. Okay. To, to where now, hey, Esau can't come through. Esau can't break through his steel. Right. You know? Was that it on that? Yeah. Oh, as the scripture says, talk about the strongholds that was on our mind have been broken. Right. All right? Uh -huh. Through the truth of this gospel, man. That's right. Because those strongholds are what? Vices. Right. You know? Be before, we didn't know that this system was against us. I didn't. You know? Right. You just out here doing what everybody else doing until you came into this light, into this truth. Of your how about should be on shots. Right. Then you realize, oh shit, I'm in a snare. I'm in a trap. I'm in a belly of the beast. I'm in a pit. 
I'm looking up like, okay, how the hell are we getting out of here? Beforehand, you had no idea, did you? Right. You had no idea that you were Israelite. You had no idea the Heavenly Father, uh, 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 mercy and grace for us. Right. Just thought, uh, okay, well, it is what it is. Going forward. Yeah. Yeah. You going to make a point. Yeah, I, I got uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Right. At verse 4. I'll start at verse 3. He said, but if the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Yeah, if our gospel be hid, it's here to two thirds of our people that don't want to hear it, that are rebellious, that are stick, stiff necked, that are sottish. Right. Okay, right. that the Lord has blood. Right. You know. Right. Because it it, it, it was here to to even us for a while. You know, until until the Lord revealed it unto us right. through the prophets, right. through the hearing of His right. word. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. Scripture says it is the spirit that quicken it and what? Make it the lie. Mm. You know? So so it was no longer hid, you know, our identity, mm. you know, no, no longer a home born slave. Right. You know? Right. But now it's people right. that, that was once a no people now are people. Right. Right? Right. Okay. Uh was that it? No, here's the point, verse yeah. four. It say, in whom the God of this world mm. has blind the minds of them that which believe not. Let's go back. One more time. Okay. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 4. He said, In whom the God of this world had blind the minds of them which mm -hmm. believe not. All right. Who's the God of this world? Right. Or, right. Exactly. You know, the, the adversary. Right. Okay. The, the, the one that's blinding our people currently. Okay. Read that last part again, Art. Okay. Back from the top. He said, In whom the God of this world that blind the minds of them which believe not. That believe not. You know, we, we had read earlier in Second Exodus the 15th chapter about the incredulity, right? And then how all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? It's not like you can't believe in the things that you see. You see it being of the Lord out, out here right. week in and week out. Right. Right. It, it ain't like you hadn't seen an Israelite video on YouTube. Right. It ain't like you ain't seen one on Daily Motion. Right. That's right. That's you know? Right. Right. This word is going out to the four corners of the globe. Right. Right. You know? Key is, did you believe it? Mm. Or were you blinded? Mm. Okay? And if you're still blinded, what, like, like, like what more do you need to see? Because the next thing you're going to see is a missile. Woo! Right. That's it. Right. You know, your eyes going to be open then. Right. <laughs> you know? Was that it? No, it say, lest the light of the glorious gospel of our Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, shall shine upon them. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason why you blinded, man. You know? Scripture says uh, uh, wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul, man. Right. You know? So, so that's why the gospel was here to two thirds, man. You know, you're not worthy to receive it. You know, uh, uh, the uh, scriptures say, "Don't don't cast your pearls among swine, man." You know, you gotta you gotta be worthy of this. The Lord has to deem you worthy of this just to just to know it, to where it can be revealed, to the to the light of your Shai can, can can grow in you and thrive in you. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Con, the water, bro. You got it. Con, con. Isaiah 24 and 11. There is a cry for war in the streets. Right, going back to the rodeo. Mm. Right, going back to Paul Wall. You know, going going back to all these things that, that have no life, man. You know, this this whole society is, 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 is on blinking, man. You know? That's, that's why Esau has to try to pull off this reset. You know, there, there, there's nothing left. That, 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 that wine, that mirth, that, 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 that sorcery, that wickedness, it's, it's, it's no longer potent, man. You know, this truth of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, this, this, hey, this word is diluting this whole right. place, man. Right. Right. You know? Right. It's, flood, it's flooding the whole earth right. again. Right. Yahweh Shem Yahshua is flooding the earth again. That's right. Huh? Yeah. And, and, and guess what? The, hey, those, those souls that that, that that were saved, those eight, which goes back, you know, to to an infinity or a, 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 a set of a, a set of infinity type of uh, everlasting. Right. You know. Same here. 
being there on that spiritual art. Right. Okay? Right. Because they were given warning, but they mocked and they scoffed as well. Right. Okay? Until, until the Lord started raining uh, 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 water, now he's going to rain fire. Right. There's no new thing under the sun. Okay? Go ahead. Isaiah 24 and 11. Right. There is a cry for water in the streets. Who's crying for it, though? It's these two thirds. They, they, they want the wine of Babylon. It's become tainted. No, no, no longer effective. You know? Go ahead. Oh, they want the dregs, huh? <laughs> Right, yeah. They, they want the concentrated version of wickedness and, and it's being depleted by Yahweh by Shemiah Hushai. That, hey, as Esau's trying to hyperinflate everything. While Esau's trying to hyperinflate everything, it's because that wine, that wickedness, is, is be, becoming scarce. Right. Is, you see what I'm saying, huh? If I may just add, Come just on like uh, doing the, uh, the, the con beer. The who? The, uh, <laughs> the con beer. When they shut, oh, yeah. When they <laughs> shut down the uh, Coliseums, Jake was crying for it. Right. You know, they shut down all the little outlets that had Jake could use for different distractions. To get their mind off the troubles of the world, right? They was crying for it. Uh, Cardi B, yeah, she couldn't go yeah. travel yeah. and make her money and shit. Then the world starting to build, come to reality, man. Yeah, gun, gun. Hey, hey, the price, the price of wickedness is skyrocketing because because that wine is is, is being depleted. It's 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 lost that potency, you know. It it it, it once was able to. You know, Esau can say anything. You know, people know about the uh, psychological operations. People know about the crisis actors. People know about the uh, 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 quote unquote not you know nine one one. All of these things are known. E Esau's playbook has been opened up through the spirit of the Lord. You know, he's being revealed for for, for the devil in which he is. Right. You know, and people are now starting to target him. Which is the reason why all of these wars are happening now. People are, are seeing the devil for who he really is. Right, Job, Book of Job, as it is written. That's right. We can bring that out too. But but the point being here is none of those things that that once had that power are no longer. Right. You know, it, right, it's right. becoming scarce really now. Gone. Yeah, the thrill is gone. Gone. You know, you can, hey, you can only make so many. Uh, uh, what is that movie called? Uh, oh, the Matrix, yeah, Final Final Destinations, right, and right, you right. know, Freddy Krueger returns, right. you know, Jason, you know, fifteen. They bring an Iron Legend back with uh Michael B. Jordan. Come on, see, yeah. you just you just copying the same thing over and over, right. And, right. And, and and none of those things have that that, that right. same policy. Go ahead, huh? Right. Uh, uh, Isaiah twenty four and eleven. There's a cry for wine in the streets. Right. All joy is darkened. Mm -hmm. The mirth of the land is gone. Right, it's right. gone. Mm -hmm. It's gone, man. You know, because Yahweh Shemel Shah is, is visiting the earth, man. He's returning, fulfilling prophecy. Right. You know, showing showing that 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 all things that were written in the scriptures are, are manifesting themselves and becoming true. Mm -hmm. None, hey, none of these things are going to continue. Hey, hey, th this place has just yet to be been destroyed, but it's already destroyed. That's right. That's Spiritually, right. it's already destroyed. Right. It just hasn't manifested itself physically. That's it. That's right. Go ahead. All right. Verse twelve: In the city is left des desolation, uh -huh. and the gate is spent with destruction. Right. With us, it shall be in the midst of the land among the people. Right. There shall be as the shaking of an olive tree. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. And as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done. Yeah. So, so Yahweh by Shemel Shah is going to make this place uh, complete desolate. Through, right. Through thermonuclear destruction. Right. Uh, through famine. Right. We've been talking about famine a whole while up here. It's going to be a famine of the word. It's going to be a famine of food. Okay, it's gonna be sedition amongst men. Right. You know, it's gonna be Jacob's trouble. Right. 
And don't forget that when the, when the good news come in, and you the chariots, man. Done. You shoot lasers, man. You don't think it's a damn. Well, I, I want to think it's it a video game. Ain't nothing on the video game you ever fucking seen. Right. Don't even compare. Done. So we talking about total fucking destruction and annihilation. The most of us going to be dropping dead, man. They're going to be so fucking scared of what's going on. The most I'm going to put spirit on them to, to fight, man. The spirit, the spirit, I mean, the scriptures say uh, men's heart should fill them for the uh, sight. Right. That they see, you know, broken memory. Right, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, the most high power, man, he got, he got, he got something coming down the, the pipe, man. It's like, hey, what like your brother said, you know, or do you, do you receive it? Do you understand or are you blinded? You know what I'm saying? Because if you can, if you can receive it, then your actions should change, man. I've got a script say what kind of, uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of, how do you say, what kind of uh, holy conversation? Yeah, are we to be? Yeah, right, man. Knowing, knowing that uh, all this should mm-hmm. come to pass. Right, right. right. So right. Look, what? Yeah. What? What kind what of, you know? Of, yeah, what man of person are you to be in our holy conversation? Right, man. Right. Okay. An upright man is going to, you should want to say, an upright man is going to find mercy with your higher power, man, because there ain't no other way to, to escape this. Man. Right, and, that, and that's that's what that's what the electors say. You know, we don't know. We're the only ones coming to that Lord willing. We are that number. We are the hopeful elect. Right, you know? coming to that uh, or in that mindset. Mm-hmm. No, we know all this shit is coming to pass. You know, we because we believe in the scriptures. We know that uh, laser beams from the ships is going is going to annihilate this place. Right, that word. Now, yeah. You know, we know that thermal nuclear destruction is coming. Right. You know? So we 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 are uh, moving with fear. Right. Great fear. Yeah. That's why which man of person are you to be? Go ahead. Uh, uh, you, uh, you got it? Okay, this is our... Uh, uh, yeah, I got it right here. Uh, one of them started at verse 10. Uh, okay, this is our second Peter 3 and verse 10. You say, but they day... Of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, right? Yeah. And, we, and, and and it's gonna come as a thief in the night because Jake don't have any understanding. We have we out here preaching the word and the prophecy of Yahweh by Shimei Awasha, but they not hear it, right? You know, well, the scriptures say we we have piped unto you, but but they not dancing, you know. And in, in these words, like like this, this ain't the first time. Like like I always like to make a point. Every, every, every time the prophets of the Lord have been in, in, in reincarnated, the same word has been going out. Right. You know. Right. You got it, huh? Second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. Right. And then in when, this world of darkness. Right. Go ahead. Then not, when, not like in the physical, like nighttime. Go ahead. And when the heavens shall pass away. With a great noise. Right, right. Talking about this earth and itself. Come on. And the elements shall melt with firm and heat. And the earth also. No, hold on. No, go back. The heavens shall pass away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's rulership. Right. This okay, man, so like. Rulership is going to be. Uh, this man will be taken out of power due to thermal nuclear destruction. Right. Okay, come on. Let's start back at the top. It's uh, uh, in the middle of the essay. In the which the heavens. Shall pass away with a great noise. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Who's and him? He's right. him. Right. I will hear. Right. And the elements shall melt with firm and heat, and the earth also, and the works that therein shall be burnt up. Yeah, going into the thermonuclear destruction of America. You know? So so yeah, all of these things are coming as a sign of prophecy. You know, as a sign of the words of Yahweh Shimei Abishai being true. You know, go ahead. In verse eleven, he says, "Hey, real quick, I say this too. It say all the works therein shall be mm-hmm. uh, is gonna be burnt up. So all this wickedness that's going on. This they got that what's that movie called The Last Stand? I think it's I forget. It's a movie called The Last Stand. This is the last stand for the for the wicked. Mm-hmm. You know." Mm-hmm. Go all, go all out. And like you was bringing out, this kingdom is not the same, man. 
the, the level of wickedness is still up there, but they don't have the same access to right, right. to it like they had at right. one point. But Jake, uh, uh, as far as drug use, this is an all-time high. Uh, uh, debauchery, uh, lewdness, lasciviousness, mm -hmm. I'm saying lascivious, lascivious, yeah. 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 you know, it's at a, it's, at, it's really at an all-time high. Right. It's, they just they last hoorah mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. to, to to be wicked, man. You know, and all that shit is, is, is going to be burned up. And before it gets burned up, the prophet will come out and, 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 and speak on it, that this, these things are going to happen. Like, you know? But right. you want to make a point out? Yeah, we get con. No. Okay. No, yeah. Got, okay. Back in yeah. um, yeah. 2 Peter 3 and verse 11, mm -hmm. it says, saying then that all these things shall be dissolved. Oh, right. right. What manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. So, so going back to the brother's point as far as uh, behavior, okay? What kind of behavior should, should you have? What kind of obedience towards this word being being preached, this warning, you know? Because that's what it is. Yeah, how about Shimei Abishai is about to destroy this place, man? Right, right. You know? Right. What, what, what kind of, what does it say? What, what manner? He said, like, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. right. All holy conversation and behavior. Okay. And, 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 and righteousness, is that what it said? And godliness. Okay. Being around Akim, you know, doing the things that, that are pleasing unto you, how about she may have a shot. Okay. Take, taking your, taking your, 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 your spirit out of this place, man. You know? Because, because it's all a snare. We've been talking about that. It's all a snare. It's all a trap. And and, and it, it, it hasn't done any good. You know? Nothing here in this society is for us. It's been set up by a wicked ruler, Esau. You know? And it's to destroy our people. Right. So, so yeah, the, the behavior now that we have, you know, coming back to you, by Shimei Aoshai, repenting, Hey, that's the only shot we got. Yeah, how was shot? You know? That's, only shot. that's it. Gone. This is the scripture. Sin called this the valley of the shadow. Mm -hmm. of death, man. man we're surrounded by, 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 by death, man. Okay? This, this is the valley of the shadow of death, man. This, this low line of valley is a low line area. This is it, man. This is the fucking this is the shithole, man. What the scripture say? But my rod and my staff, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they. I'm gonna get it from you, brother, real quick, man. Yeah. The shot. Because the rod, the rod is for correction. The staff is for measurement, man, mm -hmm. for judgment, man. So we must cling to these scriptures, man. Okay, that's how we maneuver through all this bullshit, man. Okay, if it's the Most High's will, we make it, we make it to the finish line, man. And give us the instructions, man. The basic instructions, like Jay say, the basic instructions before leaving the earth. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, we we'll start from the top. Maybe we want to Let's say, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, straight to the point. Okay. So, all right. This is our Psalms 23 and verse 4. It say, Yay, though I walk. Through the valley, so I so I, so I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Right, a valley is a low lying area, man. Babylon, y'all, America is that low lying place, man. Right. Okay. Hey, can I say something too? I, it's uh, it's low in uh, morals. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yes. It's the most morally decrepit place on the face of the planet. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. Hands down. Hey, that's what causes uh, a lot of the death. Yes. You know, that's why. I like, that's why. Uh, Death, a lot of death takes place among Jake, you know, because of the lack of morals, meaning not adhering to the law, statutes, and, and commandments. Right. You know, and what does that lead to? Wickedness, man. Bad diets. Yeah, yeah, living, yeah. Living, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. Everything is, is right. upside down. Every, they can go to black culture, man. Everything you niggas love and, and, and embrace about black culture is detrimental to you, man. These, these scriptures is his life, man. Okay, these scriptures will bring, like the brother was bringing out earlier, the, the, the quickening, man. The awakening, man. This place is dead, man. Right. 
y'all, y'all people is fucking dead, man. What, what the scripture saying? Uh, what's that? Matthew 20, 23. Because uh, iniquity shall abound. Where is that at? Right. Uh, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, Death. I mean, shit just off the walls. You know we gotta be in the last days the, the way the most high taking people out. Yes. And then brother, he mentioned black culture. Judah is the head tribe, man. Mm-hmm. And what Judah do, the rest of the tribes follow. Right. So Judah is big on foolishness. Food, yeah. You, you see Issachar with they pants sagging. Mm-hmm. Jake sagging his pants. Right. Judah sagging All his pants. Yeah, really, the rest of the world. Yeah, really, it. Yep, yep. Jacob is the form of yeah, all the yeah. And then that, that, that carry over into to the other eleven tribes, man, because mm-hmm. they follow what Judah do. Because Judah is the coons, you know. How the world look at it? The rose is the coons. They set all the trends, but really, it's more it's spiritual because Judah is the head tribe, man. Right. And the other tribes follow what we do, man. Right, I'll follow what you do. Mm-hmm. Right, no. He said, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right. I will feel no evil. But though, but thou are with me, thy rod and thy staff, they come for me. Right, bam, that's the scriptures, man. Yes, the rod for correction, the staff for measurement, for judgment, for judgment. Yep. That's what we should be clinging to. That's our. Our right. hey, this is what we gonna plead to, so we don't make haste in the, in the day of trouble, man. That's that comfort. Yeah, yeah, bro. Before coming into this truth, we didn't know how we was gonna get out, make it out of this. Right. But right. we knew it was a. a I, we all had in our minds, at the end of the day, it's a path to death. Right. Well, however this route go, I'm either end up in, in prison, or I'm end up dead. Right. Either way, it's you gonna get jacked off. Whatever you, whatever you going into, what you do, it didn't lead to no better situation. It didn't lead into a position to where I am in a position where I can run something, man. Right. Hey. Even that bullshit, that Jay Z type shit, that's still nothing. Right. There was that. There was no. There was no outlook of. How can I get out of this? How right. can we get out of this? Me and my people, we all in this, we in a messed up situation. Right. And there was no answer on how to get out of this until we got that. That's the comfort, man. The comfort of knowing we gonna be in the kingdom. Right. Yahweh Shia is coming back to redeem his elect so we can set that can be set up a kingdom of righteousness right. on this That's place, right, man. I- and right, this, right. This, all this hell is going to cease. Right. Without that, man, there is no comfort. I don't give a shit if you got billions upon billions of dollars. Right. All those guys that are in those positions, first of all, they have to compromise their integrity, integrity to get where they are. Right. Number two, once they got there, this is it, huh? Right. This is what I bent over that desk and let these mm-hmm. devils run up in my right. rectum for. Right. What is, huh? Right. They got Look at their children. They got short change. Look at yeah. Magic Johnson's son. Oh, man. Right. Look and at I, Master P's son. And Isaiah Thomas. Right. 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 Like Jake had right. integrity in the first place. Right. I'm sorry. Too much grit. Herschel Walker. Right. Sweet. Sell their soul. You know? Yes. Right. Jake 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 had sold their soul until they got one to elevate themselves yeah. in, this, mm-hmm. in this man's kingdom. Yeah. You know, and then so they may have the mindset of or as they moving on up, <laughs> you know, they moving oh, on man. up. Things are getting better for me, but look at my family. Right. And that's why a lot of they go broken because they'll be doing start doing well, but then they got they start their family is looking for handouts. Yeah. So they give them money breaking off the family. And then they uh they, they right. money supply, so to speak. Right. You know? Yeah. So either way you look at it, one is going up, but you look at the, your immediate family, you don't even gotta look at the whole nation, you just look at your family. Your family. I'm doing good with my family all oh, fucked up. Right. I'm doing good with my mama with got fat ankles. 
or got a bad heart, or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's all fucked up. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Example, let's, let's get them scriptures. Yeah. Yeah. I got one real quick. No, hold up. Can you oh. finish that? The song. Yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all finish it. That's all you want. That was song. The song. Yeah. 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 73, this is to make a point for the brother. Uh, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in their riches. Verily, I have pleased my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocent, 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 so like it, innocent, innocent, in innocent, so like it. It says, somebody get that word too. So, because that's not a common word that we use. Let's get that word and figure out and then find out what it means. You want to read on? Or you want to Start back at the top. Right? On. This is Psalm 73 and 13. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain. Meaning your mind. Everything you did was empty. In vain. It, right. was, it was okay. Not all that for nothing. Yep. All that for nothing. Unless you got this truth, whatever you're doing is in vain, man. The scriptures speak about it in the book of Ecclesiastes. Yeah. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity, said the preacher. The wisest man said that all of this is still, is having everything in the world is still vain. Right. Because at the end of the day, guess what? You're going to die, and it's still hell going on, man. It's still a world of unrighteousness. It's all in vain. Then you die, then what happened to everything that all your substance that you got up? And the scriptures speak about that, leaving it to a fool. Mm -hmm. You see? So it's still all in all of this is vanity. That's why we we hasten the day to get out of here, man. You're doing the same thing, the same mundane thing every fucking day. It's like listening to the same song. You ain't got no but one song in your iPad, one song in your playlist, and you listen to that song every fucking day. And it's like, man, I don't want to hear this shit no more, man. Right. We sick of this fucking place, man. This is a vanity and vexation of, of, a, of, of a righteous spirit, man. You know, you get up, you go to work. You get up, you go to work. You get up, you go to work. The only solace is this truth. Right. Knowing, having that comfort, knowing that we about to get the hell out of here, man. And that this, the way that the world is going out, back with that conversation, right. is about to be done away with, man. What else is there, man? Nothing. Yeah. Go ahead, Ox. Psalm 73. Okay, Psalm okay, 73 okay. and 13. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. Yeah, who got that word? We, you got it? I looked it up in the uh, etymology uh, online dictionary. I think we go back to it. They go back to the Latin. Go back to the land. It go back to innocence. Okay. Yeah. Go back okay. to innocence. innocence. <laughs> and it's uh, in a city. You probably said it wrong. It just mean not not guilty or blameless. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, yeah. We can look it up in the blue letter too. We can go, because, go ahead. Right? Oh, I'm just gonna make quick. Go ahead, bro. Because Jake think that you know by doing these things. That it's, it's going to lead to something greater, yep. but it ain't going to lead to righteousness, mm -hmm. you know? So it's done what? In vain. Right, in vain. Gone. It's the same thing. Uh, verse 14, for all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. Nobody got the Hebrew? Okay. Yeah. I, I pulled it up. It, it basically said kind of the same thing. The brother was saying, I can I can read it. Yeah, it's freedom from guilt. Freedom. Now you know talk, talk. the Hebrew word is uh I believe it's not quite yan. Probably said that. not quite ya none. What's that number? Races. Oh uh strong 53-56. Strong's H. 
to be clear, to be pure, to be free, to be innocent, free of uh, guilt. This is back in uh, Psalms 73, verse 14. All right, do me a favor. Start up at verse, uh, so we can get some clarity on what this scripture is talking about. Okay, start up at like uh, 10, 11. Start at 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 11. This is Psalm chapter 73, verse 8. It says, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue. And their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore, his people return hither and waters of a full cup are run out to them. And they say, how do it, Yahweh know? And is there knowledge in the most high? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. Verse 16, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. And this is the point I was going into earlier. Uh, verse 17, it says, until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, because the brother was talking about, you know, coming yes. back to this truth. And yes. Yeah. So it's talking about the wicked at first. You right. see? But mm -hmm. go ahead. I Con. It says, until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, then understood I their end. Yes. What's the end of the wicked, the wicked people? Destruction. Right. Right. Obadiah 18. That's it. Right. That's your, that's what you got. That's your outlook, Esau. That's your future. The book of Obadiah, verse 18. Bye-bye. You're going to be done away with. Right. right. And before that, uh, 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 what's that, Psalm 149? Yes, yes. Let the high praise of the most high yes. be in our mind. The yes. two-edged sword in our hand. Right. All right? To uh, execute vengeance right. upon the uh, heathen. Right. Yes. And judgments upon the people. Yep. And then it's like to bind their kings with, with, with chains, chains and feathers, feathers and iron. Yes. That's, right. they going into slavery. You're going into slavery right. first. Right. Yes. That is going to be not, you know, you're not getting off the hook. Not that, that is. easy. <laughs> right. yeah. We ain't well. talking about the bullshit chains. You had no. to the big bull. We're talking about the big. Big, big chain of links, run that bitch chain. like this. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Right. You can't breathe, you can't move with that bitch. We're gonna make you move, goddammit. Slumped over. Right. All right. Yeah. Then you're gonna be the new, you're gonna be the new, uh, y'all gonna be, um, well, we're gonna have another nation over the sanitation department. Y'all gonna be the workers. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. Y'all gonna be sit, keeping, y'all gonna be digging ditches and, and fucking trash men of the earth. Right. The scripture right. said, we'll have them have mics standing over. Yeah, that's a human humiliating job. Hell yes. a trash Hell yes. Like yes. Back in the, you know, you watch that movie, uh, Fences. Right. Jake was picking up the trash, dumping people's trash, man. Same thing that, like, when we be out there bringing it out. Yeah. All of those guys that come through yeah. here with the sanitation, mm -hmm. yeah. them Jake, man. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's a, a, a prison release job. They get yeah. on the job to these guys that got out of the pen. Mm -hmm like a second chance type thing. Right. This is my correction in life. This is my second chance to go around and pick up your fucking garbage. Right. 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 The revert, the rose is about to be That's reversed, right. asshole. Yeah, right. Okay? You finna be the trash man. Right. right. All of these menial jobs you had us doing, you about to be doing. Yeah, burying bodies, digging ditches, right. burying bodies. That's according to uh, Ezekiel 30, uh, 39. Okay, first job. No. 
Yeah. First job. Yeah. Clean up the dead bodies. Yes. Dead dishes and dead bodies. Yes. The earth that you somebody get the earth is the father the the inhabitants there. The earth is the fire, man. Okay? And who did it? It ain't nobody out here, that, none of us. Nobody that looked like us did it. You know, they'll find you $250 to $500 if they catch you throwing that garbage out of your window driving down the freeway. But then here it is. You got all of these plants causing all this pollution, all these chemicals and shit you spraying in the air. I, I watched a video. This dude had two cups of water. And he put a solution in it and it turned yellow. He said the reason it's turning yellow is because of all of the fluoride in the water, in the two cups. He said, let me show you something. He stuck his head in one cup, put that dye back in there. It didn't turn yellow again. He said, now where do you think that went? Uh, into his system. We're bathing in this shit and our bodies are soaking up this pollution. It's not a mission that. <laughs> See? They said emissions is the problem. Oh, right. no, oh, so we gotta go green. Yeah, we need to go green. Right. They burning all these gases and these chemical plants and shit, burning off all these pol- uh, toxins in the, in, the, in the air. Yeah, plant a tree. You know who started that going green shit? They got that rock chop. Of course. Look like Montreal. Because that shit is nothing but a, an agenda. Right. It's an agenda, man. Literally. Okay? Literally, it's an agenda. Agenda 21. That's it. Yeah. 2021, 2030, 2030, yeah. 32. Yeah, 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 yeah. No? Bring that scripture out, Father. Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is the fall under the inhabitants thereof. Right. Somebody hold Job 9 and 24. Bring that out real quick. Who who is this talking about? Who's the who's the steward of this world? Okay. When Russia invaded Ukraine, did it was it anybody that looked like the people on that uh, twelve tribes? No, because we don't have any power. Okay, we don't have the power to make Russia invade another country. Once you go over Putin's head, let's go to the elites. They the ones that is orchestrating this whole thing, all because they're trying to bring in an NWO. Okay. Who has that power? Somebody get the book of Michael. Uh, to it, yeah. And bring that out. Bring out uh, Job 9 and 24. Huh? Job 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It's given. The most high placed this earth in the, 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 the uh, management of Esau Edom. They are the ones that are managing this world, this current present day world, man. And this is a result of their management. This pollution, this, as the scripture said, the defilement of the earth, the defilement of people, man. Look what look at the position that the Israelites are in today. Why they are in the conditions that they're in. It's because of the manager. If I go into a restaurant and there's food on the table and the table ain't been cleaned off, whose fault is that? I'm not gonna go to the waitress. Let me talk to your manager. I need to talk to your manager. This, this is not acceptable. This is not somewhere where I wanna set my plate down and, and eat a meal. This is not acceptable. I need to talk to the manager. Right, right. Not the fucking waitress, not the bus boy. The manager is responsible for all that. Cause guess what? When the, the, the corporation called the store, well, you think they want to talk to the guy that's cleaning the toilet? No, they want to talk to the manager in charge. I need to speak to your manager. Well, guess what? Yahweh Shai is coming back to speak to the manager. Right. In a proverbial sense. Because it ain't going to be no talking. He's coming to see the guy that was responsible. Who are the people that's responsible for fucking up my earth, man? Right. Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. Right. Hands down. Right. And it's evident it's him. Mm. You want to know why? You go to China. How do the people in China dress? They wear suits and ties. Why? 
because they emulating the ones that's in, in the power in the power seat, man. Mm -hmm. The uh, apostle uh, uh, Ramla had brought out the first, which you see skyscrapers in all these major cities all over the world. Why? Because they emulate America. Skyscrapers started in Chicago. The first skyscraper was 10 stories high. That's Esau with that shit because that reminds them of their original dwellings yeah. in the right. cliffs of the rocks, man. Yeah. Hey, when you look at uh, downtowns, for an example, from the fourth, and you see all the skyscrapers, it look like a mountain right now. Yes, right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's the, it, that puts them back in their habitation, you know? That puts them in the mindset of their habitation, okay? Go ahead, Doc. Where you at? Uh, back in, uh, back uh -huh. in uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covers the face. He covers the face of the judges thereof. And that's it. We just wanted to get okay. that first line. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. So the wicked is in, in rulership. Okay. By process of elimination, who's running everything? Who are your world bankers? Okay. It ain't nobody on that side. None of them Israelites, man. It's Edom. Okay. Edom is responsible for all of this. They're the ones that are responsible for the earth being in the condition that it's in, man. And all of that's about to change. It's about to be a drastic change in the, the, the rulership of this world, man. It's going to totally do a 360, okay? Somebody, that mic, or bring that mic out. Right for chapter 2, verse 1. Whoa! To them that devise liberty. Now, again, who's the one that's able to fund both sides of the, of the war? It ain't Jake, it ain't a Jay Z, it ain't a Kanye West with they little peanuts. Because you, you check this out, even though they may have a billion dollars, whose face is on that money? Who printed that money? They can't call no shots. They can't take up arms and they don't have a standing army. They don't own these big industrial, they don't own an Exxon Mobil. They don't own DuPont. Who does? Who's responsible for the petrodollar? It ain't nobody that look like us, man, okay? We're not the ones responsible for destroying this earth, okay? Now, of course, you go to the hood and it's trash everywhere, but why? Because they are oppressed people. Mm -hmm. And it's just like a, 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 a place of hopelessness, man. Right. Like, fuck it. What difference do it make? That's Jake's mindset. What difference do it make? They get up in this hell all day. We get up this hell all fucking day long, man. Why? Because we're being oppressed, man. But the oppressor, that oppression is about to cease. <laughs> Get to the ones that devise iniquity. Who's the devisor? Keep on going, all right? Uh, and work evil upon their beds. Right. Hey, is this not an evil world? Mm. Are not the laws that are set up in this place evil? Are not they against righteousness? You got LGBTQ laws set up to protect abominable people. Right. Oh, that, that do abominable acts, man. Little children are getting taught about transgenderism in kindergarten. You got cross-dressing teachers coming to teach children about being transgenders and non-binaries. Who's responsible for that? It ain't none of us. We don't have no school system. The curriculum that's taught in these schools is so-called white supremacy, man. From the time you born, hit that school, that's what you learn. How to obey and be and do how this so-called white man wants right. you to be, man. Pledge of allegiance. Right. Not how to be an Israelite, how to be righteous in the sight of the Heavenly Father and His Son to the best of your ability. That ain't taught in school. We, ain't, we weren't taught our true nationality in school, who our power was, man who our power is, they don't teach that. They teach you what they want you to 
be and how to obey them. Right. Go ahead, I. It says, they're the, the devisers. The wicked are the devisers. They come up with all this shit in their mind. Then keep going. Uh, they're going to devise. Uh, once they plan, they plan, they plan, strategize on, on wickedness, man. Yes. That's why they have all these secret councils and, and shit like that. Yes. That's they hold. They can't do right. The scriptures say the soul which is in him is not upright. So what are they going to up? What are they going to devise? Things that are wicked. Right. And that's it. They don't mean no good, not even to they self, man. Right. Go ahead, I. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed. Right. When the morning is light, they practice it. When the morning is light, they put it into action, man. They, okay, this is what we want done. We want Russia to invade Ukraine. We need these prices to go up. We need smoking mirrors, okay? We need all, and all of a sudden, the pandemic just disappeared. Then you got niggas sitting there, pray for you, we stand with Ukraine. And you stand in the goddamn slum. Them people ain't never open their mouth once for any type of sympathy for your black ass. And here it is you crying and why? You can't even take care of your own shit and you worrying about fucking Ukraine. Go ahead, I. Chase, them Ukrainians don't give a fuck about at you. All. Right. Right. They showing that, don't it, to the, uh, the people of uh, The people new, which from is, Nigeria, yeah, which is Jay. Yeah, they they won't even like, let them leave. Yeah. Right. They why why there ain't no mainstream meat on, right. main, on CBS and NBC? Right. Because yeah. they want you to believe what we tell you. Right. Yeah. There's an agenda. There's a narrative. Yeah. Okay? Which our people can't. They, two thirds of our people will get put to death, man. Go yeah, ahead. I'll show this real quick. Yes. Just, uh, now I'm back at you, bro. I'm so get on the camera. The Russian Federation emblem. That's the same thing as the goddamn mm -hmm. me, uh, mm -hmm. Rothschild shield, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the exact same thing, bro. Yep. Right. That's, yes, yes. With the two headed eagle. Right, yes. right. So you, you dumbest thinking this is a fucking man against man. This is all set up by this body. Is elite, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Right. Yeah, but you got it on there, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah it got clear. It's all a co thing, huh? Right. How you hide an elephant? Right. That motherfucker right in the front of him. Put it, bring it in the room. Can't even see the fucking elephant ass busting you in the face, and you can't even <laughs> see the goddamn elephant, man. It's a damn shame. It's a shame for our people to be this dumbed down, man. But when you drinking fluoride and you drinking chlorine, right. okay, mirror outside and Lord knows what else. Whatever else, else. aluminum is in the sky. Got the juice. You bathing in this shit, man. Right. Yeah. Soaking it up and you eat GMOs. Right. Drinking out of plastic. Right. right. Of right. course you can't think, right? Your shit is all clogged and foggy, man. That's the size of everything you fucking eat, bro. Everything. And your children are being raised on Lunchables. Right. Mm. Pop toys. And right. Pop toys, right. Hot Cheetos. Good fucking yeah, Lord. I can't forget the hot Cheetos. Yeah, right. I'm a hood nigga. Hot Cheeto all I snack on. That's what Jake said in that song. That's black, black, black culture. culture. So you niggas think you got to go get some goddamn Hot Cheetos right. to be real. Right. Put a you know, rapper's face on a bag of yeah, rap, rap. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, right. Uh, that's crazy. And you niggas is sitting there proud. I'm on a bag of potato chips. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> niggas got their all serious, huh? And rice. Oh, and Master P got rice. We need the Lord to come back and get us out of here, man. Then the nigga tried to justify. Would well, y'all really be me or something? Man, why would you want to poison your people? Go ahead, all right. When the morning is light, they practice it. They practice that wickedness that they thought of the night before, mm -hmm. man. They have, go ahead, I keep going. Because it is in the power of their hand. They have the power because it was given to them. Right. Not, no, not on their own intelligence. All of a sudden, Esau in a cave brand mm -hmm. can't even fucking speak words. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, 
Oh, let me get out there and take over the world. <laughs> and, 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 and have the uh, intelligence to put it out. Right, right. right. Yeah, right. Right. You motherfuckers, oh, even in that, that movie, uh, Django, old Steven had to say, white folks ain't never came up with nothing good on their own. <laughs> How about we sell them to the clinic? Yeah. Because you can't come up with nothing on your own. You always had a nigga in the background giving you ideas. Right. Always, man. All of your great high position, Pecker Woods, you always had a nigga back in the back. You always had a Steven. Mm-hmm. Do it like this, boss. Just the way to do it, boss. Right. Gun line, boss. Right. You always had one of them niggas, one of them Sambos, man. Right. You know? Trying to help help the fucking oppressor to oppress your people. I got to go ahead. I. This is Daniel chapter two, and verse twenty. It says Daniel, Daniel answered and said, "Blessed be the name of Yahweh forever and ever, for wisdom and might are His." That's yeah, the reason yeah, why yes. Esau exactly has wisdom and uh. And, and knowledge, yep. the Most High gave it to him. Yep. He didn't get it. He didn't get it on his own. Yep. He said, uh, verse twenty-one, and he changed the times and the seasons. He removed the kings and set it up kings. He gave it wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them uh, that no understanding. So the way, only way you can get a wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is from the heavenly father. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, he, when he said he saw up, he gave him that that wisdom. Yep. Yep. He set up a fucking uh, how them people, how Esau gonna rule the earth in the condition he was in exactly. when he was in the in the cave. Jump over the fort, brother. Uh, seventeen. Oh, God. It was at a point, Job said he didn't want them to lay with his dogs, man. Because he wasn't going to be good. He'd have had to put his dogs to death, man. You don't want to lose no good dogs. This is Daniel chapter 4, and verse 17. It says, This matter is by the decree of That's the it. watchers. And, and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high rule it in the kingdom of men yes. and give it it to whomsoever yes. he will and set it up over it the basis of men the basis so when something is based that means it's the law it's the law that's the lowest he put up the basis of men over everybody. Okay? The lowest of the low, the scum of the earth, man. Right. The devil. That's who's in position of rulership. That's who that power was given to. Okay? Let's go back to that Michael and finish that out. All right. Michael, chapter 2, uh, verse 1. Walk to them that the boss and dick work evil upon their beds with a part of this life. They practice it. It does them to the power of their head. Yeah, it's in the power of their head. They were given that power. Okay? The Most High allowed them to have this, man, and to do what they're doing now. And all of this, everything that's going on from the pandemic to the invasion to the high gas prices to stocks, all, it, all of this is orchestrated by Esau Edom, man. He's the one that's got all of this going on, man. Okay? No one else. So when it's speaking about woe to them that devise their iniquity and work evil upon their bed, that's who it's talking about. Be wicked, man. But notice it started off, it said woe to them because they are about to get put out of They're about to get put out like an old light, man. Okay? Uh, you had something out? 
Psalms 28, verse 5. Because they regard not the works of the most high Yahweh, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Yep. Yep. This place is done, man. Right. Okay, we we at the brink. We are at the brink of the end. Real quick, get second in for six and start it uh start at five. Second Ezra 6 and verse 5. He say, Second Ezra 6 and verse 5. And earth, the present year, was sold out. Jump up a verse. Go to 6. 6 and 6. 6 and 6. No, no. Second Ezra 6 and verse 6. He said, then, then did I consider these things, and they were and all it's like and they and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be they shall be in and by no other. Go ahead. Second Ezra 6 and verse 6. Then did I consider these things. And they were, and all they, and all, it's like, and they all were made through me alone. And through none other, by me also they shall be in, and by no other. Then answer I and said, then answer. And said, "What shall be the parting asunder of these uh, these times? Yes. Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? Right. What 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 is going to be the end, and what's going to be the beginning of righteousness? What's going to be the end of wickedness, and what's going to be the beginning of righteousness? Yeah. When is this going to happen?" Everlasting life. Exactly. You got it, I. Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, the full fathers, go ahead. And when Jacob and Esau were born of yes, him, he came to them too. The two that was fighting in the womb. Mm -hmm. How come? Because we at odds, man. We still at odds. Okay? The basis and the blessed. The apple of the heavenly father's eye and the wicked, man. Right. The yes, the son of perdition mm -hmm. and the son of righteousness. Okay? Jacob and Esau. Mm -hmm. That's what this book is about. Mm -hmm. Not the whole world, God is love and all that madness that they teach you in this so-called Christianity, man. That farce. They don't even talk about Jacob and Esau in the script in the so-called church, man. They don't even know who Jacob, who who Jacob, Jacob is, man. Let alone Esau. And they tried to keep Esau suppressed, but it's, it, the cat, the proverbial cat is out of the bag, Jack. Because right. now it's becoming common who the Edomites are. Right. Yeah, they got a whole book. No, 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 they got a whole book. Yeah, mm. Esau. Esau Edom. Was it called? Uh, Bro, I got that. Who is Esau? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Right. We didn't know before. Right. Oh, but he's been exposed. Hey, I, real quick, if I can make a quick point. You know, they had this uh, Edom out there. Edom out on uh, Alex Jones show right. talking, yes. talking about uh, how, uh, I don't know how she phrased it, but blood how, thirsty uh, Edomites. Yes, it's the Edomites. Blood thirsty Edomites. Yes. Blood thirsty Edomites. Yes. So, so you got Esau, you know, right. uh, uh, telling people about Edomites and how right. they going to have to pay this uh, way, you know? Yeah. So, so, so people are now, yeah, before as the brother was going into, none of that was known, but the Lord revealing uh, uh, the son of perdition yes. for, for the devil mm -hmm. in which he is. Yes. Right, right. And this is a different group the brother was talking about, but this is oh, the okay. Roman Empire 
Right. The That's Roman the Empire, yes. the Empire of the Edomites, written in 1853, man. Yep. Mm. This is a, uh, uh, William Beaston. Yeah. This is a reprint of the 1853 yeah, book. The Roman Empire, the Roman of Edomites. Mm. So it's, it's, it's coming back out, man. Yeah. It's that time. Yeah. It's that time. <laughs> this is another one right here. Roman Empire of the Edomites. Now, that's the one. I think that one cost like. Like two or three thousand dollars. Yeah, I paid Wayne for that. For, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When he yeah, first came yeah, into yeah. the truth, three to like ten years, ten, twelve years ago, you get that book for less than a bill. It's thousands of dollars now. Why? Why? Yeah, the same thing with that book, uh, the Lost Tribes in the Promised Land. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was. I believe it's it's expensive now. Right? Yeah, hell yeah. Yes, it, it was is. affordable. Ten, twelve years ago. Now you need some practice to get that book. Why? At least I want to hide that truth, man. Right? I'm going to bring out a quick scripture and then we go right back to that. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except that come a fallen away first. You see? And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. The devil, man, Esau, Edom, man. And he's being revealed through the prophets. Right. Okay, oh, first and foremost. Yeah, he is wide open, not Jack. You... It's him. Right. There right. hey, is him. Hey, that's that, that devil, that bastard right there. He's right. guilty and guilty. Right. He's guilty. Okay? So you've been revealed, Jack. It's over for you. That's part of what it took for this end to come, man. You being exposed for who you are. The son of destruction. And again, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. It's the foul under the inhabitants thereof. Why? Because the son of perdition is in charge, man. All he know is tearing down, right. Right. destructing, man. Okay. Where we was at? Yeah, yeah. Go keep going on there. Uh, second Advent six and verse seven. Yeah, okay. He said, "Then answer, ah, and said, What shall be departing asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows?" Right. The end of the first, Esau came out first. You see? And then they say in the beginning of what? The beginning of it that follows. Right. The rulership of righteousness under Jacob. Okay? Starting with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai on down, man. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born of him, both Hebrews... Right. But one is a Hebrew Israelite, the other one is a Hebrew Edomite. One got the promise, and one was given a sword, the, uh, the the sword, man, and the rulership of the earth, the fatness of the earth, man. Okay, go ahead. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, which is symbolic, because we're going to take you down under Yahweh Shai, man. Your rulership is about to come to a, a screeching halt. A good riddance. Oh, Shit. Verse 9. But Esau is the end of the world. And hey, wait. You talk to people nowadays, just casual conversation. Yeah, this got to be the end. This got to be the end days. These are the last times. That's what people are saying. That's, yeah. that's on the tip of people's tongues. What's next? Mm hmm. Exactly. Right. And the, the point I want to make is that who's running things right now? Mm -hmm. right. If Esau is the end of the world, we're at the end of the world. Right. Mm -hmm. Then Esau is ruling shit. Mm -hmm. And it ain't the Arabs. Right. Yeah. Okay? Right. Jeff, Jeff, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, the world have grand skirts. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, boo, man. <laughs> you teaching that boo, boo on you, man. Right, it's right. shame on you, man. Uh, the sand man needs to get you off the stage. But you know what? Everybody got their own life, man. Right. You got to have the, the, the false teachers, too. You know? That's right. They're they necessary. They're necessary, mm -hmm. They're the ones we're not, we're not supposed to be like, you know? Just a evil is necessary. It's necessary evil. <laughs> Go ahead, right. Verse 9. But Esau is the end of the world. Yep. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. That's what you see right now. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning of it that follows. It's being built up right now right, right, right. before your very eyes. And this is the main reason 
why your kingdom is crumbling down, man. Because this word has gone out. Mm. Real quick, get to St. Matthew 24. Let's start at 12. St. Matthew 24, start at verse 12. Mm -hmm. He said, and because iniquity shall abound. Because of the, it, the, the people that's running the earth. That's why iniquity is abounding, man. Everybody right. hate everybody, man. Right, right. Just go ride down the road. Just get on the freeway. Right, right. And see what kind of love you get on the freeway. Try to get over Right. The motherfucker be lagging way back there, but they see you put on your scissor, they uh, yeah, hell out. Because yeah, yeah. they fucking evil towards each other, man. Right. Oh, and especially Jake. Well, you can't look. I, I get around Jake and I'm just like this. Right. Whistling and right. shit. You don't even want to look, make eye contact. Right. Jake cut me off on the freeway coming here and then he started riding outside of me just looking. I was like, man, you got it, bro. Right. Matthew 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yes. Verse 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Right. The elect. They're the ones that are going to endure until the end, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and hold this, hold this word uh hold yeah. hold it fast, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes, near and dear. Go ahead. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Yeah. Is that not happening? Mm -hmm. Right now. This is on the WWW Worldwide Web. Right. Okay? This ain't just broadcast here in Houston, Texas. Oh, we coming back, you know, like your local TV station. Right. Okay, right. used to be. Because even like with, say, Fox Houston. Houston Fox News in Houston. They go out all over the world too now. Yeah, yeah. When it used to just be confined, you had your own little news source, Channel 11 and Channel 2 News. You know, that was only right in these little areas. But now they go worldwide. So this word, this gospel, this truth, okay, is going worldwide right now in real time, man. So read it again. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world which is what you see yes for a witness yes. to the nations yes and then the end come in the end this is happening like then shall the then end shall come, the end come. Like see so what's after the word getting preached out into the whole world the end <laughs> the end of esau and jacob the beginning of it that follow it the kingdom of righteousness being set up man this is it this is it. Anybody looking at 10 years down the line in the 401k and sending your children to college so they can be this? I was talking to this one female, her daughter, she got to get her doctorate. And I was just like, you motherfuckers are crazy. What are you doing? Go, go back to school, huh? You going, you, you, your daughter's about to get her doctorate. You think that, but that just go to show that our people are not paying attention to what's going on. They are not circumspect, man. They, for some reason, this is all just going to work itself out. Not this time. This is places on a, 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 a quick decline, right, man. Because right. they believe in Esau. Exactly. They believe in that punk 
to Joe Biden. You got to be on the State of the Union talking about building back up, building a better America. Get the fuck out of here. America ain't never been right. good for a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American. Never. Never. And our people just can't get that through their mind, man. This place has never been for your better interests, man. Ever, ever, man. You've been used to build this place up and for Esau to sit in a, a, a seat of comfort, man. And that was it. And now that time is up, man. It's good to say, most of them to go down for Esau for help. Yes. Our people got their faith in this place now. Yeah. You, you, you got your hope in the Titanic, man. Right. Okay. That's beautiful you brought that up, bro. Uh, going back to that, that second John, you know, people got their ideas of what they're going to do, bro. If you knew all this was going to be dissolved, that's why the scripture asked that question. What manner of person? Yes. Second Peter. Second, second yeah, Peter 2, uh, the third, third, chapter, chapter. third chapter. Right. What manner of person ought you to be? You know that's that's vanity and foolishness to talk about graduating and all that. This is this is America in that old that old way. People keep talking about going back to normal. It ain't shit going right. You know the new normal would be Jacob's trouble. That's it. You can look for Jacob's trouble, man. Uh, from here on out. Hey, the new normal nope. is gas prices on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that gas, yeah, food, yeah. everything yeah. that go along with it, man. They got the trucker strike to yeah. where. They, they they just put out this uh this executive order, Joe Biden, to where they they finna do away with trucks. Right. Yeah. I forgot how to, you know, uh how what was it, brother? Green energy. Green, Green energy, energy, but they trying to push electric, right? right. right. Yeah. Which is which is worse. Right. Because the batteries are toxic. Yes. You know? And it takes more energy to charge them for the yeah, cars. And, and, yeah, that's horrible, bro. So yeah, there's no more going back to the norm, no more of that bullshit, man. You know, what manner of persons are we to be? Exactly. This shit is about to this this is about to be a wrap. Yes. Even before it's destroyed, it's being destroyed. Yes. You know, before the Heavenly Father set this place on fire, it's being destroyed from within. Yes. You gotta understand that this is all by design. Yes. You know. If you would bring that out real quick, we can go out. Okay, this is uh, 2 Peter 3 and verse 11. He says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, mm. that's the problem all people don't see. Right. It's going on right before their eyes, but they don't see. All people can't see. And so they're talking about degrees and jobs and 401ks and retirement. They're talking about all this shit that don't amount to nothing because they don't see. The vision was given to the prophets. They don't want to hear what the prophets have to say, therefore they're blind. So they walk around through this earth blind. That's why the scriptures say, you read Isaiah the 60th, uh, 60th chapter, you say it, it speaks about uh, darkness covering the earth and gross, gross darkness to people. Yes. When it's dark, you can't see. That's right. So what they say? I, they say real quick, that word gross means complete. Oh, yeah. Gross darkness to people meaning they completely blind. Completely in the dark. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're in the dark. That's why they'll say, pray for Ukraine. Right. And <laughs> don't even see that they over there discriminating on people of all colors. Exactly. Right? Which are Israelites. Yes. You know, they're being discriminated against. But they'll say, pray for Ukraine. You know, they'll send their, their children over to the Middle East to go fight for Esau. Right. You know, against terror. All, all this terror right here, you gotta go to the Middle East and fight terror. All this goddamn terror, right here, right here. Next but you time. gotta go across the yeah. world to fight terror. Right. I got the nigga live next to me is terrible. It's terrorizing. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Like, niggas are terrible. The a police are terrible. terrible. Yes. The police. Your boss. Your woman. Woman, hell you wanna, yeah, shit, you want to stop terror? Come get that woman. I always laugh. I think about the apostle to all years ago said the black woman is hell on wheels. I think about that. I can't help but laugh because you can picture her. You know, the cartoon how to live when they be running on the hill, be rolling, and she just going around just bringing hell wherever she is, raising hell. That's the black woman. Right? 
Yeah. Well, it's enough terror right here. Right. You know, but that's the kind of the dissonance, the dissonance that our people exactly. they suffer from. Exactly. You know, they can see it. Like the brother said, that elephant ass is right in your face, but you don't see it. Right. That's cognitive dissonance. You know? Right. The Rams won the Super Bowl. Snoop Dogg them was on top of the FEMA uh, camp buildings oh, uh, at the yeah, halftime yeah, right, show. Right. Snoop Dogg got on the light blue and yellow bandana suit. Right. Okay? The color of the Rams is blue and yellow. The color of the Ukrainian flag is the same color. The same color, not a little dark, darker blue, a little darker yellow. It's the same exact color. That elephant again, the tusses, right. killing you. And then you niggas is wanting to we stand with Ukraine. The Ram one, same color. Mm-hmm. Ukraine getting invaded, same color. What is what what parts y'all can't see? It's all the writing all over the wall. Mm-hmm. Right. And Jake still can't see it. Right. it, it that, all that ain't no coincidence, mm-hmm. man. Right. They put it in your face. That's how magic works. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pull a rabbit out of hat. Then they pull the rabbit out. Mm-hmm. That's magic. That's what they doing. They right. put it in your face, man. They use Trump to demonize so-called conspiracy theorists. I, that they was all the set up in the first place. Yeah, oh, shit, they man. brought Trump in to, to okay, tell them it's fake. Yeah, Just fake tell them it's fake. Yeah. They going to hate you so much that they not going to even look at what you said to be true. Right. right. Because you hate Trump. Oh, he grabbed women pussy. He said he grabbed a woman pussy. Mm-hmm. I told a bitch, I said, you ain't never had your pussy grab. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's just a bitch. Shut the fuck up. That nigga ain't never grabbed me. Shut up. Man. I hate niggas, man. Terrible. Niggas terrible. Terrible. You know? But yeah, like you say, it's all type of signs. The handwriting is on the wall. So you can ignore it if you want yeah, to, but you're going to deal with the reality. Yes. Yeah. Sooner or later. You know? Go ahead, I. He say, saying then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, and all your, your, your conversation is your, your behavior and your actions. But go ahead, it's going to break it down. Verse 12, it says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. So that's the man of person you should be looking for in high school to the coming of the day. Yahweh by Hashem You know, not looking for a graduation, not looking for, you know, um, get that big promotion. None of that. You should be looking for and hastening to the coming of the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh because we, 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 we in this hell, man. Mm-hmm. Yahweh Shah is the only way out. Yahweh Shah is the only way out of this. this, this yes. This prison planet, I'm yes. quote Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in this prison planet. Yes. As slaves. Yes. Well, we're talking about the redundancy of what you do. That's the very essence of being a slave. The slave get up every day and do the same shit. You pick the cotton, you're gonna go out there and pick cotton tomorrow. Then when that's done the next day, you're gonna go out there and pick cotton. Yes. Until it ain't cotton season, yes. then you're gonna have something else for you. Yes. Right. That's us. You know? We ain't got no say so in the matter. Unless you want to be out there homeless, yep. but Jake won't see it. You yep. know, yep. Jake don't see it. But but yeah, I was just I just want to uh, speak on that, man. We should be focused on the things that matter. Yeah, and, and the only thing that matters is just preaching this gospel, elevating this truth. And you how about you? You know, and you spoke about the, the false false uh, prophets and these false teachers, you need that for faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. False doctrine is, 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 is needed for faith. Yeah. Because if it was just all truth out here, then what would look? Exactly. You know? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, need, you need something to say, you know, no, I'm going to go with this. Yeah. This is the truth. I don't fuck with that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the balance. 
but but yeah, that, that was that was the point on that. So hey, Lord willing, you know, edification went out, man. So we are gonna end uh, it right there and give all praise and again to and double honors to our elder apostles and our elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect out there and shalom. Shalom. shalom.